Sounds good. I, I guess an, I guess a better question is is it anybody not ready? Like is anyone just not prepared? I'm good. Awesome. I, I can't do anything else I might really need. So yeah. no. Uh snacks, underwear, we all we all got that. Yes, no, maybe so. All of mine are pretty much within arm reach, so I'm good. Cool. All right. So I'm slightly disturbed that you have underwear within arm's reach of you. I mean, I'm wearing it, aren't I? <laughs> That's fair. Moving on. It'd be a little <laughs> bit more disturbing if he didn't have it on him. Y yeah, yeah, I mean, really. yeah. I mean, it could just be in pajamas. It's kind of so... a reasonable time for that. Yeah. Fair is fair. Yeah, that's right. Fair is fair. All right. So, uh, Valenrain, uh, the largest realm in the Nocturnal Kingdom, a densely forested land overflowing with danger and mysticism. This is the kingdom you all reside in, if not call home. You live your life in this realm under the rule of the High King. In short, Valenrain is a place ripe with adventure and where we lay our scene. Our story begins in a clearing, in the southern forests, right outside the city of Frosthearth, a cold and unforgiving city. In this clearing, the leaves rustle gently against the branches and descend slowly to the ground. Wind whistles through the deadfall, entrapping this clearing from the path a few yards out. The only thing within this clearing are several broken branches, fallen dead leaves, and the unconscious body of a man. He begins to stir and sit up with a hazy recollection of the night previous. Uh, Danimals, go ahead and describe your character. All right. So waking up groggily in this clearing is a tan, early 20s half-elf. Um, he's... You know he's toned he's about five eight nothing nothing to scoff at but then again he doesn't really catch your eye in a crowd he's got basic leathers on uh blacks and browns and a nice sword on his back he thinks as he reaches to check for it you do find it there your hand grasps onto the uh onto the hilt of your blade it is exactly where you left it the night previous <sighs> good that's one less thing to worry about. Um, uh, your head is pounding as a uh, horrid smell fills your nostrils. Oh, what the... I'm going to kind of sit up and look at myself. Is there anything that seems to be causing this smell? Um, just by looking at yourself, uh, you're covered in a, f uh, a few bruises, a few uh, scrapes. It looks like you uh, definitely have taken a tumble through some foliage uh, in the past few hours. Um, but uh, you do notice that there are a few uh, splotches of blood on your on your outfit. But the smell does not seem to be coming from you. That's... I mean... What is that smell? I'm gonna stand up and just kind of take in my surroundings while stretching. All right, uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. All right. Uh, if I remember correctly, perception, right? Yes. And for those of you somewhat new to roll 12, okay. For those of you who are somewhat new to roll, to roll 20 and their character sheet system, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll clear it up for you. Uh, but with the 12... Uh, you begin uh, looking around the clearing, and as I had stated before, there are um, it's mostly just a bunch of uh, leaves and dead grass as uh, fall is setting in. Um, the smell seems to be coming from the deadfall, uh, which uh, is represented by this um, by, by this tree right here. Uh, uh, I'm gonna kind of pull up my shirt over my nose to see if I can get the smell to die down a little bit and just kind of make my way over there to see if I can see what's actually making the smell. All right. Uh, um, pulling uh, your uh, shirt over your nose, uh, you definitely don't smell the greatest you have in your life, but it's definitely a step up from what smell is definitely taking precedence in this clearing here. Uh, you follow the rotten scent to the deadfall, uh, and between the branches in the thicket, 
you see what appears to be an obscured face of a humanoid. What? That, oh. Ugh. What the? Uh. It, I'm gonna, how far away from it am I at this point? Um. Can I just kind of move it up to the tree? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you click on yourself, you can move yourself. Yeah. There we go. Um, uh, right now, you are uh, just at an angle where you can just see the obscure details of a face. You can't really make out anything major unless you um, prod further in. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm gonna... Like, I know, realizing it smells bad, I'm gonna see if I can get a better look at it to see if it's, like, I don't know, like, this tree fell down yesterday, or if this is something that's been here a while. Alright, um... I would say go ahead and make a, make a nature check. Nature check. Oh boy. Um... It looks like this uh, tree's uh, bark has uh, withered to a point where it is not new. Ah, uh, well, that's great. I'm gonna head back away from this tree now that I know it's not fresh and just want to get away from the smell. All right, uh, as you back away from the tree, uh, not being able to manage to quite pull your eyes away from whatever might be looming inside of that deadfall. Uh, you make out the uh, details of uh, a torso where there is a large uh, gaping black hole right in the center of his chest. That, oh, that's not right. Um... Instead of back, yeah, I was gonna say, instead of backing away, I'm gonna see if I can at least inspect the the hole. Because, you know, you'd think the tree would kill someone, but not leave an injury like that. Uh, okay. As you investigate further, uh, moving the uh, thickets away, uh, you uh, see the full uh, corpse of a slack jawed man with uh, ghastly white skin, his eyes wide open as if his last moments were lived in fear. Uh, there is a large black hole through uh, uh, not so much the center of his chest, uh, now that you look closer, but more the right part of his body. Uh, and you see that his right arm is completely gone. Uh, the foul smell overcomes you as a fly lands on the unblinking eyes of the dead man before you. You know... This has got to be one of the worst mornings I've had. Um, and as you're thinking that, uh, you uh, have a, a bit of a, what some alcoholics refer to as a moment of clarity uh, from last night's previous events. You recognize the face of this man. The night Jeez. previous, when you were in the, when you were in the tavern, uh, in the uh, city of Frosthearth, uh, you remember seeing the face of this man. Oh, sh that's oh oh oh, shit! That's not good. Um. Uh, can I, like, I know it smells bad, but can I just quickly search the pockets, as I'm a probably going to be heading out very quickly. Uh, you most certainly can. Go ahead and uh, just roll an investigation check. Ooh, 21. 21. Uh, rustling through his pockets, you empty out anything he might have, uh, managing uh, to find nothing but some pocket lint, uh, a rusty dagger, uh, and uh, four silver pieces in total. How do I add silver? Would that just be adding something in equipment? Nope. Um, on your character sheet, um, which I'm going to pull up right now just to look at it as well. Uh, I accidentally next year next year equipment. Um, here we I can get rid of that for you. Okay, here we go. 
Um, right, so I just th- oh I yeah, just you found it. it. You found yeah. it. Yeah. I didn't know if there was a command or if I had to type it in somewhere special, but no, I found it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, so uh, you pocket uh, the silver, and yes, he does smell quite bad. Uh, you don't see any blood on him though, uh, as whatever uh, caused this massive wound in his body definitely sealed up the wounds upon impact. Cauterized. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna leave the rusty dagger and okay. start walk in back towards where I originally woke up. Okay, uh, moving back uh, towards the center of the clearing. Uh, uh, you remember uh, uh, you've been in these woods before. You recognize that you're in the underwoods, the um, massive uh, forest that uh, surrounds uh, the city of Frosthearth and rides along the border of Thalon Rain, the realm that you're currently in, and uh, the elven uh, land of, lands of Lond uh, on the other side of the forest. Uh, you've been here before. Um, not specifically this area, but you know that you can't be too deep in, otherwise you'd be in a lot more harm than you are currently. Uh, so the um, path back onto the main road should not be uh, far off. <sighs> okay, okay. I kind of slap myself and jump a few times to wake myself up a bit, and I'm going to mm-hmm. uh, head back towards, or see if I can find the path from here. Okay. Uh as you um, exit this clearing and begin pushing your way through uh, branches and uh, trees, uh, the leaves crunching beneath your feet, uh, go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh, Dex saving throw. I'll be a 19. 19, excellent. So as you're stepping, uh, you manage not to trip on what you see uh, appears to be uh, a leg. Oh... I, this, this is, this is a situation. Um, That's putting it mildly. <laughs> um, can, is there, is it just a leg or is there it anything is attached to it? As your eyes uh, follow the leg, it is attached to a body. Uh, you don't see the front end, but you do see what appears to be a, uh, the back of a leather tunic that uh, just appears to be eviscerated with a bunch of uh, blade slash wounds. Oh, I'm kind of kind of already preparing myself. I'd like to unsheathe my sword and just look at it. Like, see if there's anything on the blade. Uh, you look at the blade, it is clean of uh, any uh, blood or entrail. It looks to be as if it was just uh, uh, freshly uh, wetted, but um, as you look at it, you just see it uh, sort of uh, sparkles in the uh, morning sun. Hmm. Okay. Gonna put it back in my sheath. All mm-hmm. right. Let's get out of here. Uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not even gonna pick this one. I'm just gonna keep going and keep an eye out for any other dead bodies that apparently are like gravitating to me this morning. <laughs> okay, uh, with that, go ahead and just make another perception check for me. 18. 18. Um, as you begin walking away, you're like, oh god, all the dead bodies, uh, you see one more with similar blade slash wounds, not even five feet away from the one you just found. Last night was a night, wasn't it? Oh. Okay. As you say that, another sharp pain in your temples. Ugh! What the? Oh, man. All right. Um, not going back to that tavern. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to try and at least just get on the path before I figure out what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just get back on the main path first. All right. Uh, within minutes, uh, you find your way back to the uh, stone paved path uh, that weaves through most of the country leading people from city to city. Um, As you get there, um, both sides of the path are just uh, surrounded by trees. uh, And um, being somewhat familiar with the uh, surroundings, uh, you'd know that you're probably uh, a few minutes walk from uh, the gates of uh, the city of Frosthearth where uh, you spent your previous night. 
Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Let's think, let's think, let's think. He's kind of in his head slash talking out loud to himself mm -hmm. for this part, just because he's having a morning. Um, all right. Don't remember much of last night. Uh, that's not good. Dead bodies back there. Got a bad feeling I did that. Uh, is it? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna quickly pat myself down, see if there's any materials missing, or if I've got everything that I'm pretty sure I had on me last night. Uh, yeah. Uh, just giving yourself a, a, a little check, patting your pockets. Uh, you appear to be roughly in the same condition you were last night, with the exception of being a little bit roughed up. You still have the uh, same number of gold pieces on you. None of your equipment was taken. Okay. Uh, the only thing that you've noticed that has changed is that uh, your blade is much cleaner. Hmm. That's kind of concerning. Uh, okay. Um. All right. Back into town. Just figure out. Yeah, let's figure out what happened. Okay. Um, I'm going to start walking up the path back towards uh, Frost Hearth. All right. Frost Hearth. Uh, uh, within minutes, uh, you'll start reaching civilization once again. Uh, you uh, see all uh, the uh, rural residents and uh, uh, farmhouses outside of the city, which um, are pretty meager. Uh, this uh, particular uh, little uh, section of Valenrain is uh, quite cold. Uh, the reasons you've heard of this place being such a, f a frigid wasteland in comparison to the rest of the country differ. Uh, everybody has their own theories. Uh, some people uh, say that uh, the gods just don't favor this place. Uh, it's just the looming threats. Uh, the looming threats of the uh, wilderness. Um... But, in essence, what I'm trying to say is this place is quite chilly. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, a few of the uh, townsfolk uh, give you a nod as you pass. Uh, and uh, you eventually will make it back to the gate. However, uh, within the uh, within the frigid city of Frosthearth, uh, we will change our scene. Um, there are uh, two uh, curious-looking travelers. Uh, they jaunt through uh, the market square, uh, getting strange looks from passersby. Uh, Kian and uh, Joseph, go ahead and describe your characters as uh, they uh, walk through uh, this market square within the city. After you. Oh, I was going to say the same to you. Uh... You guys are so polite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in green robes with well-tanned, well-tanned skin and slightly and rather auburn hair, in a French braid going down his back, you see Cork Sapo walking down the street, about yay high and oh so and so heavy. Alongside is Ilian. Joseph, your turn. Walking directly beside Korok is Ilian, a lavender-skinned tiefling with dark purple hair coming down to her uh, her shoulders, matching green robes with Korok, and just these almost pure silver eyes <coughs> walking rather happily next to Cork. All right. Uh, the market square, you, uh, market square you walk through is sparsely populated this day, uh, and you traverse uh, the stone path that winds uh, through the several shops and stands uh, selling stuff like produce and fine jewelry and things of the like. Uh, 
the sky is uh, slowly uh, turning uh, gray, and cold winds have caused every uh, almost everyone to hide away indoors, except apparently except for you two. Uh, what do you two? Uh, what do you two find yourself doing this day? I believe we are walking uh, back to our inn to gather some lunch, unless I'm mistaken. That would be correct. All right. Uh, I imagine, when... considering it's cold and we're in robes, we're also shivering as we walk. That might be happening. Yeah. Uh, Ilian, you, you particularly are not quite fond of this uh, cold. Um... But were there any particular shops in this market square that you were uh, looking to shop at, or um, were you just uh, perusing, looking at what the city had to offer? I'm just perusing. All right. Um, Same. A, a, sim, a site that you, you two in particular, are used to uh, in this city, uh, besides all the buildings being made out of the same boring stone material and just how frigid this place seems on the inside in comparison to other towns you've been to in, in Valenrein uh, are the strange looks from strangers. Um, not so much towards Korik, even though Korik, you do uh, have your fair share of odd glances. Uh, Ilian is the one whose uh, attention uh, captivates uh, most often. Uh, in particular, um, as you're walking back towards your inn, uh, you find uh, you find that this uh, portly, uh, rugged man with uh, unkempt facial hair uh, and uh, what looks to be a slight lazy eye uh, is giving you uh, quite shady looks as you pass by. I wave at him happily. Uh, I disregard. You... No need to pick a fight. Uh, you do so. Uh, uh, and um, just looking at how much his uh, uh, face sours at your um, uh, show of kindness, uh, you continue walking uh, until you feel uh, a splat on the back of your head and what a uh, uh, cold gooeyness start running down your back. A as you feel backwards, you realize the tomato has just been flung at the back of your head. Glad to see they're as friendly here as they were at home. He he just looks at you, uh, waiting for a response. Completely ignores it. Cool, excellent. Um, he he just looks at you as you just sort of wipe it off and just continue uh, walking, uh, just shaking it off and walking away. Uh, he just stomps back over uh, to uh, where he was standing previously next to his uh, produce stand. Um, and you see that nobody, uh, none of the other uh, people in this market square with you, uh, even though uh, it is quite sparse, there are a few people wandering about. Uh, all of them are just watching this happen uh, with just blank expressions on their face. None of them wanting to have any of what you guys are having. But... Uh, you begin walking towards, um, walking back towards your tavern, uh, the, uh, tavern you stayed in the night, uh, previous, O'Rourke's Tavern, um, a, a nice enough, uh, and you, uh, feel that, uh, it is nice to get into a place where there is at least some warmth, um, but uh, as you guys are walking back uh, to uh, back towards the tavern, uh, you uh, see what appears to be a cloaked man uh, walk up to a lantern post. Uh, his robes are elegant and are hemmed with arcane glyphs. Uh, you don't make out a face, but you see a bony hand. Uh, reach out towards the lantern. And by that, I don't mean it's like a skeletal hand. He's just got really long, uh, scrawny uh, fingers. Uh, he His hand reaches out towards the lantern. A small gout of flame erupts from his outstretched hand and uh, lights um, the lantern. Uh, after lighting, uh, he walks further down the street uh, to light the next one. Yeah, 
What's up? What's that? I think he's lighting those with magic. I know. Why is fucking it? All right, you guys can stage whisper because I can't understand what the fuck yeah, you're saying. I'm, I'm just gonna go back to talking and say that we're right. still whispering. Yeah, yes, we're, I also me too. Can't hear Kian. Because I have no idea what okay. you just said. I said, yeah, that's cool in it. Yeah. Did you hear it that time? Because I did. Okay, cool. We're good. Awesome. All right. Uh, as you walk uh, uh, past him, uh, his eyes don't divert from what he's doing. Um, in fact, you can't even really see underneath his hood, but you do see uh, what appears uh, to be uh, the faint, gl uh, faint glowing in his eyes as you pass. Anyway, uh, continuing down the street. Um, uh, you make your way back towards the tavern. Uh, and as you approach uh, the uh, doors of O'Rorix, uh, you notice uh, what appears to be a battered and beaten humanoid uh, just push his way through uh, the doors of the city. Uh, you see he has a uh, black left eye, several cuts and bruises across his face and exposed forearm, uh, forearms, and he has a uh, long sword uh, slung across his back. Uh, I am, uh, if it isn't obvious, I am describing uh, um, Danimal's character. I wonder what happened. Yeah, it was up. Turn is it to talk? I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, essentially, um, Cork uh, and Alien just uh, see. Uh, you just uh, walk through the uh, doors because as soon as you uh, enter the city gates, um, the tavern uh, that uh, you all stay in is essentially right there, front and center. It's one of the first buildings you see. And then surrounding that uh, is the uh, residential district um, of the city uh, called the Frost Heart District, un unimaginatively. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. Uh, Walking towards there, uh, you, uh, Byron, what you see is a, um, uh, a tiefling woman and a uh, rather uh, tall uh, wood elf gentleman. Uh, both up, uh, appear to be wearing similar robes. You know, I'm not surprised with how today's going. Okay. I'm just going to keep walking and get to the tavern because that, that is my object of. That's my goal right now. Uh, I'm gonna whisper to Ilian, what the fuck do you think just happened to him? He's had a day, hasn't he? Hey, what? Do I know what time of day it is? Um, it's uh, late morning, uh, early afternoon-ish. Oh, okay. Good to know. All right. In our terms, yeah. about 11 yeah. o'clock. Okay. Because for, for a second there, I thought it was like, crack a dawn type beat but no no no, right. no no yeah uh so yeah my i'm just trying to get into the tavern to you know warm up a bit hopefully all right uh and i'm assuming you two follow suit yeah it's cold out. yeah pretty much indeed and we were done uh, without our jackets uh stepping into the tavern uh you feel a slightly relieving sense of warmth from the cozy interior. Uh, the inside of this humble establishment is lit by the lights of, of a roaring fireplace and a few candles set on the windowsills. Uh, the main room is quiet. Uh, there is uh, no uh, bard present or any music of the sort playing. Uh, there's just light chatter and conversation. Uh, most of the uh, patrons are uh, quieting down and diverting their attention to uh, an odd figure uh, uh, sitting over in the uh, corner of the room, uh, what appears to be a large, uh, thorned, uh, turtle-like person uh, who uh, appears to be um, chatting quite loudly with some other uh, dwarvish gentleman in the corner. 
Uh, in the complete opposite corner of the tavern uh, sits a, uh, a bookish little creature uh, who uh, has been trying to um, uh, pay attention to some uh, light reading, uh, wearing some uh, uh, scholarly robes, uh, enjoying uh, the drink of their choice. Ethan, go ahead and describe your character. Yes. So what you see in the corner is a rather large looking bird with black feathers and a silver tip uh silver beak that ends with a black tip at the end of it. He's just sitting at his table, book in hand, kinda kicking his feet underneath of it because they don't quite touch the floor. And he's just sitting there happily, jauntily turning through pages with a smile peeking through the little corners of his cheeks. All right. Um, uh, as you step in, you see that the uh, um, man at the uh, at the uh, at the bar at the counter, uh, a human man, uh, who uh, uh, looks to you all with a smile uh, and waves to you and says, uh, "Have a seat. Have a seat anywhere. Uh, come up for a drink if you'd like. Make yourselves comfortable." Uh, I'm just gonna walk in and stand by the fire. <laughs> All right. Warm uh, up. Yeah, the fireplace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You found yeah. it. Cool. 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 Neat. I'm gonna go sit and prop my feet up by the fire. All righty then. Yeah, I walk um... over and just you know rubbing my hands, rubbing my forearms, getting feeling back. All right. Uh. Byron, I want you to go ahead and uh, make a uh, a, hi a history check with disadvantage. Uh, history check disadvantage. Yeah. History. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Oof, not good. Um, you keep thinking to yourself as you're warming yourself up in the uh, light of the fire. Uh, just trying to recollect last night's events. Uh, you remember playing a card game, uh, and um, your hand was not really going in your favor. Uh, and the faintest memory, which just thinking about it gives you a pulsing headache, was a uh, was a um, lead mug being slapped up aside uh, aside your head. That would do it. Uh, I'm gonna kind of glance around at the floor and see if I can spy a stray lead mug just to confirm my suspicion. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll an investigation check. Not with disadvantage this yep. time. 18. Um, you look around the floor uh, and everything in the immediate vicinity seems to be in tip top shape. Uh, do you just look around this area, or are you just, like, looking around the tavern in general? I'm, I'm just kind of, like, from where I'm standing near the fire, just kind of glancing where I can see. You know, I'm not, like, going and scrubbing the floors. I'm just kind of, from my vantage point, could I see anything that would resemble that? Um, from where you're standing, uh, you can't really, uh, you can't really, uh, see anything. There doesn't appear to be a stray mug or anything. Okay. Uh... Now, once I'm warmed up, I'll probably go up to the barkeep and uh, get a get a I don't know something small to eat, and then ask, uh, "Was I here last night?" Okay. Uh, so yeah. as you uh, go up to the go up to the bar, um, the bartender is real quick going to do something. I would have come in and ordered food for me, Cork, and I wouldn't have told him, but I would have ordered it for the beat-up man, too. Right, okay. Ooh, hold on. My mistake. There we go. Much better. I realized I made an NPC for him, specifically. Um, uh, he is going to, real quick make a 
There we go. Um, as uh, soon as you, uh, as soon as you walk up uh, to the tavern uh, and meet eyes with the barkeep, uh, his eyes lock with yours. He's like, "Were you here last night?" Uh, think so. I was actually going to ask you the same thing. Yes, I vaguely remember seeing your face, if uh, judging by all the scrapes and bruises I uh, see you've taken quite the beating. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I think there was a very solid mug involved, but Oh, yes, I don't... That, that mug had to throw it out. Oh, Deep sorry. Dent in it wasn't much good for me anymore. Yeah, that makes... That makes a bit of sense. Um, but yeah, no, I was just trying to retrace my steps. It's been quite a sore morning, quite honestly. Uh, well, based on what I heard, uh, I myself uh, didn't uh, see entirely what happened, but apparently there was a row between you and some other unhappy bar patrons. Not something I'm unused to. Yeah. I'm still fuzzy on all the details, but I can uh, I can recollect that there was some form of fight. Well, but, uh, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be... Uh, I'd probably make yourself scarce around here soon. Um, that uh, gentleman you had a tilly with yesterday is um, sleeping in the room upstairs. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, then I'll be quick. I just need a quick bite, maybe a quick drink, and then I'll be on my way. Uh, yes, I, uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, well, what would you like? Ale? Um, we're, we're still serving, uh, we still got some eggs on the burner, if you'd want. Uh, some eggs and maybe a small, small thing of ale, yeah. All right, do you have a, a preference of what kind? We uh, have, we have, uh, standard or, uh, we have hilltop ale, if you'd like. I'll just take standard. All right. Uh, he comes back and, uh, um, minutes uh, with a uh, uh, plate of not not so quite hot eggs, but enjoyable nonetheless, and a, uh, uh, a a nice sized uh, flagon of ale. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, how much will that be? Uh, for all that, uh, uh, just a silver piece. Okay, I will. I've marked down that silver piece. Yeah, it takes from you. Uh, and uh, you begin enjoying your meal. Uh, Ilian, uh, what did you say you were doing? I was going to buy myself, Cork, and I wasn't going to say anything to him, but I was going to buy Byron's food, too. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I remember you saying that. So, um, Byron, a as uh, you ask him how much it would cost, he says, uh, no charge. Uh, that uh, lady over there at the end of the bar uh, paid for your meal. Oh. 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 Wow. So right. you can you can put that silver piece back yeah. on your yeah I did. Uh, Joey, uh, all in all, you probably would have spent like uh, all right. So you're buying uh, uh, meals and drinks for yourself, uh, mm -hmm. Corrick and Byron. Yep. So all in all, it's uh, probably about uh, four gold. Uh, not four gold. Uh, four silver. Jeez. Yeah. No. 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 It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. As you're um, sitting there enjoying your meal, uh, you hear the conversation between the uh, uh, massive uh, spiked turtle man over in the corner and his uh, dwarfen compatriots getting uh, rowdier and rowdier by the second. Um, I'm going to kind of start scooting my way away from that, knowing that last night was rowdy, and I'm going to mm -hmm. go up to, I don't know her name yet, but Ilian. Yeah. Um. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for covering my food. I, uh, I guess you could say I had a rough night, but I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. You look like you could use someone to do something nice for you. That I could. Um, I guess, might I ask what brings you to Frosthearth? Out exploring the world. Oh. Like my brother over there and points oh. to the elf I'll look over at uh, 
Korok and I don't know his name yet, but uh, just, huh, are you? Uh, if my back is turned to them, yeah. I'm not gonna look because I don't, I don't see yeah. them, and they're far enough away. Um, I don't think I hear them. Kind of putting two together. Are you members of a ghoul or something? I only guess because of your matching robes and the fact that you called him brother. Uh, yes. We're from... I forgot the name of my monastery. Uh, High Tome Temple. High Tome Temple. Huh. I don't think I've heard of that. Interesting. Well, uh... Might I ask what you study there? Or if it's that kind of temple? Uh, this is a temple dedicated to the nature... Was it a god or a goddess? Goddess. She goddess. is female. I have all these written down somewhere. No <laughs> yes, in the uh, in the uh, notebook underneath uh, player characters folder, That's and then was. under your name folder, and then it'll be in your backstory. Yep, that would be where it was. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, Mr. Kenku Man, as you're sitting there, uh, um, just minding your own business, uh, you've been studying the, uh, mysterious, uh, spike, uh, creature, uh, Godzilla looking guy in the back of the room, <laughs> uh, for, uh, about the past 20 minutes, but, uh, now your attention has been brought to another curious venture, uh, a tiefling who has walk into the tavern yeah can i just like put the book away and just like kind of jauntily skip up to the tiefling and just kind of look up at her you indeed and, can do that yeah and just go hello what are you i'm a tiefling have you never seen one before just staring like cock my head to the side a little bit the feathers on the back of my head just ruffle slightly no. Right. Well, maybe. Yes, I have. I'm gonna kind of lean over and just kind of remember. Is that a bird? The the bar keep lean, leans over the uh, bar and says, uh, "No, I think maybe you hit your head a little." I'm gonna kind of look at him and look back and look at him and just kind of go back to eating. <laughs> All mm. right. Do you have name? Yes. My name is Ilian. Might I ask you? And then in Ilian's voice, can I just say, Ilian? Indeed you can. That's strange. So I do hmm. notice the bird dude walk in. I'm going to come over and join y'all. Ooh. I'm not saying anything. Just you look familiar. You elf? Sure I am, buddy. What's your name? Cork. Cork Sabo. Cork Sabo. I assume you're doing that in my voice, right? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's special. It's a little unsettling to be honest. Yep. Sure is. Sure is. <laughs> uh, it is about this time in your conversation uh, that uh, one of the dwarves at the table where uh, the uh, turtle man is sitting at uh, stands up and flips his chair. And uh, it looks as if uh, the, uh, the two are about to get in a fight. Going to take where I'm sitting just kind of move over here <laughs> and get and just kind of keep an eye for the door just in case <laughs> all right so uh as you do so you see that um a, a few of the uh other dwarves are beginning to move the chairs and tables out of the way you see um 
the uh, barkeep just sort of sigh and say, fellas, for once, could you please just take it outside? And they uh, evidently do not hear him, uh, except for the turtle uh, preacher man. I'm just going to refer to him as Turtle. You guys you guys know what a turtle yeah. is. Um, mm-hmm. Except for the turtle, he says, uh, perhaps, good fellows, we could um, uh, listen to the humble barkeep and uh, take this good fight outside. But uh, once again, they are not hearing him. I'm just going to move a little bit closer, just because I want to watch all of this. I'm very confused as to what's happening right now. Uh, As this uh, uh, turtle stands up, you you see he reaches an impressive height. Uh, To tell you exactly, I'm I'm sure he has it on his character sheet. Uh, Or maybe he doesn't, because he's bad at writing down character traits. Uh... He's a tall motherfucker, is all I really have to say. Uh, he's like, he's taller than six foot tall, but shorter than seven foot tall. If I'm, he's somewhere within that range. Six, he's six, not, we'll say. Sure, why not? And right. he's not here to defend himself, so I can make shit up if I want. Um, Sounds about right. Uh, you see uh, that uh, he has a massive uh, uh, mountain range for a shell. Uh, his uh, skin uh, appears to be uh, covered in uh, little bumps and uh, spikes. He just looks sharp in general. He has uh, two uh, bone-like appendages sticking out of either side of his jaw uh, and uh, a spiked uh, ri- uh, ridge on uh, the bridge of his nose. Uh, his, uh, uh, what would you call it? His undershell, like his, what would you call that? Like the carapace or something? I don't know turtle anatomy. Undershell works. Undershell. It looks uh, cracked and uh, uh, scratched up uh, a la uh, Raphael the Ninja Turtle. Um, But what uh, sticks out the most is that uh, on his uh, right arm, uh, strapped to his right arm, appears to be an arm blade that uh, extends his entire uh, long forearm. Um, And... As uh, this uh, hulking uh, turtle man stands there, wanting to take the fight outside as to not disrupt the tavern, uh, this pissed off, uh, assumedly drunken dwarven man uh, swings at him, uh, and the turtle just dodges out of the way. Uh, The uh, dwarven man uh, falls uh, face first into the table, uh, knocking it sideways. Uh, and he looks over to the barkeep, and he's like, I deeply apologize. This is not the way the good fight should go. Uh, and he's like, J- just get him out of here, please. And then you see the rest of his uh, dwarven friends begin uh, grumbling uh, and then pick up the other dwarf who uh, has since fallen unconscious after smacking his face into this table <laughs> and just carry him outside. Uh, and he uh, just uh, goes over and places a gold piece on the ta- uh, on the bar, and he's like, my sincerest apologies, good sir. And he's like, no, "Don't, don't worry about it." And then goes about, uh, goes back to pouring drinks after taking the gold piece. And uh, the uh, turtle just looks around nervously and just walks outside. So huh, that's certainly interesting. These few people, th- yeah, this I table is essentially just empty. I'm going to eat my food and lean over to Ilian and say, "How much do I owe you for this?" Oh, it's fine. Uh, the uh, barkeep uh, walks over to you guys and says, So, uh, you all friends or something? Uh, nope. The, la- the lady paid for my food, so I'm just returning conversation. All right, well, uh... You I've seen here before, he says, pointing towards Byron. Um, uh, the rest of you, uh, curious folk, uh, what brings you to this, um, I'm going to be frank with you, this uh, uh, very depressing city. Point to Ilian. I don't say anything, I just point. Right. I mean, just waves. We're out exploring um, the world. Oh, just explore. Okay. 
don't know about the little strange bird person. Yeah, so that was my uh, that was going to be my next question. Is he your panther or something? <laughs> I stand up on the little stool, so I'm like at eye level with him. All right. Um. Um. Uh. Hello. Very angry looking. As angry as I can get. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a toddler getting grumpy. Yes. Arms crossed and everything. <laughs> uh, he not just, pet. Uh, he just looks at you. and he, um, He's trying not to begin chuckling. He's like, well, uh, nice to meet you, not pet. My name is Gillard. Gillard. Yes, Gillard O'Rourke. I said that in his voice, too. I hope you know. Oh, uh, he, he, he's like, wait, wait. It's a what was that again? It? What was that again? Yes, that's what I thought you said. That's that's disturbing. I'm going to go <laughs> deal with some other patrons now. Uh, uh, bye. And he just walks off. I'll lean over and just kind of gesturing my voice to to the bird just that's quite the uh quite the neat trick you got there thank you you're welcome Did i you guess ever actually give us your name my name is but do call turner okay uh, turner okay. Yeah, uh, well, when, he, when he did approval. that, well, when he did that, uh, what you heard from his mouth, in case it wasn't clear enough through the chat, uh, is uh, the sound he made with his voice was the sound of uh, uh, book pages rippling. Ah, uh, kind of what I figured. Okay, that's really cool. Didn't know, didn't know if it was clear enough through the chat. I could have just said it, but I had a book near me. Zipper right in the <laughs> right in the mic. I like I like heard it, but I couldn't tell what it was at first. Yeah, yeah. That's why I cleared it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, as as you all are conversating, uh, um, two other strange folk uh, come sit up right next to you. Um, you see a uh, a gaunt, uh, dark elf, not quite dark elf, maybe half dark elf man, and uh, partnered alongside. This massive Goliath uh, comes sit next to you, and uh, the uh, uh, dark elven uh, man uh, looks towards uh, Gillard and says, uh, "The usual, sir." And he uh, brings out uh, what appears to be a, a fine uh, wine glass for the dark elf man, and just the most absurd tankard of ale any of you have ever seen, and plops it right down in front of uh, the uh, this. Um, this half giant gentleman, who, uh, as uh, you can see, has the uh, the gray uh, stony skin, uh, the several um, uh, bumps in his skin, uh, bone uh, protrusions, uh, and what also appears to be a large section of his jaw missing. It just skin has uh, um, grown over that part of his face. Uh, it looks like an accident might have. Uh, uh, might have been removed in years past. Um, uh, Cork, in answering your question, uh, they do, but not a, uh, not any recent, there's not recent bad blood. Like, he probably wouldn't want to be friends with you, but there's no reason he'd want to immediately start punching you right now, so. All right. Now, for context, because we got viewers who probably won't see that, I asked yeah. if there is history with them between uh, wood elves and dark elves. yeah th th there is no um uh current conflict running that would uh uh bring you two to arms at least unless you you know insulted his mother or the spider queen or something uh you see this uh half giant man as he drinks from his ale uh a at least half of it just goes dribbling down the side of his face and pouring onto his shirt. But he just looks straight ahead as if not noticing. I just lean over and go, what happened? 
Uh, he looks over to you, looks down at you, and then goes back to his drink, not responding. I just kind of look back over, sadly. Uh, and then the uh, uh, half-dark elf and the um, Goliath just begin conversating with each other. And by conversating, I mean the dark elf is saying a bunch of words and the other one is nodding. I... Do we hear the words or are they in some foreign tongue or what's going on here? Um, uh, they're just talking about uh, what their uh, plans for the day are. Um, with with the uh, low chat of the tavern, uh, they're not speaking particularly loudly, so you can't make it out uh, from where you currently are. But if you'd like to listen, you can roll a perception check. I don't think I particularly care that much. Yeah. All right. I'll turn to, uh, I guess, Korik's the one next to me. I know your friend there, uh, Ilian, if I remember <laughs> overhearing. <laughs> oh. Um, said you two were exploring the world. Is there any th other business you have here in Frosthearth? Nope. You? Well, I'm trying to figure out what happened last night. Other than that, kind of traveling, trying to find work. I'd say you got in a fight. Yeah. Probably what happened too. last night. From what, ugh, I kind of rubbed my head. From what I can recall, I was playing cards. Then, for one reason or another, things got hostile, and a mug was dented over my head. And then I woke up this morning, about probably an hour ago. That's about it. Sounds rightly painful. Yeah. Any idea what happened to that mug? Oh, the uh, barkeep said it got thrown out. Couldn't use it anymore. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Surprised my head didn't do the same thing. For me, why'd you come into town in the first place? Well, I've been traveling around, trying to see if I can find some reliable work. Anything, really. Uh, you came to this shithole? Hey, you know, when you run out of things to do in one shithole, you go to the next one. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a fact. Thought maybe a change of scenery would help too. But, uh, maybe this just wasn't the right one to change to. Ugh. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Probably won't end up staying here too long. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything on my plate other than making sure I don't get in any more fights, hopefully. Best of luck with that one. <laughs> Thank you. As you conversate, um, uh, the barkeep makes his way back over to you. He seems to be um, uh, preparing a drink for uh, another patron. He says, uh, did I overhear you were looking for work? Uh... Yes. Potentially nothing, I guess, permanent, but odds and ends, yeah. Well, uh, it's sort of my uh, uh, civic duty as the uh, barkeep for the town. Uh, if uh, you're looking for work, there is a uh, job board over by the guard barracks. Oh. Uh, as jobs posted by locals and stuff of the like. Uh, occasionally there's a bounty posted by the guard. Interesting. Uh, where might this post uh b well uh i'm sure as you noticed when you were walking towards town there's a massive ass castle uh at the uh, uh southern side of the city uh it, it is right before that okay can't miss it thank you no problem and he goes back and uh slides his drink uh uh over to one of the other bar patrons hey cork that seems like it might be a good idea for us, too. I don't know how much gold you have left, but... We're just I could always do a little money. more. Yeah. I mean... 
the more the merrier, I guess. Some jobs just require more than one person. At the sound of everyone wanting hey, to go, I just like perk up and go, aren't you? Hmm? Say that again, Ethan. Oh, I said at the sound of work and like calling first, I looked down and I was like, oh no, I have no money. It's so like, I join? I mean, be my I'm guest. Take the adorable can... bird person. Yeah, you're welcome to join. If you can, uh, you know, depending on the job, if you're up for it. Oh, I help. All right. Uh, thank you again for the meal, but uh, if we are kind of agreeing to do a job, I wouldn't mind heading out and perhaps finding a job. Let's do. Uh, as you all begin um, uh, getting ready to leave, uh, Byron, you uh, see uh, some footsteps go going down the uh, stairs over this way um that leads up to all the rooms in the uh in the in this tavern um you see uh walking down the stairs uh um a humanoid um, a man uh, uh who's uh, very uh thin uh and has uh uh wiry messy gray uh, uh grayish black hair uh, uh just a, a generally uh weaselly uh looking man uh, with a sharp chin and uh, piercing eyes. Uh, and as he uh, gets to the uh, bottom of the stairs and uh, turns uh, and, and his eyes meet yours, his eyes widen, a look of terror across his face. Uh, that's not good. I'm gonna just kind of... I, I assume I'm kind of standing or at my stool. Just kind of uh, stand, just yeah. give like a small hand wave like, I recognize you. Uh, uh, his entire body starts quaking a little bit. Uh, you see that he's like audibly ga uh, gasping before he uh, diverts all attention towards him by screaming out loud and running out of the tavern. That's peculiar. Say, I'm gonna go chase him because I think he knows what happened last night. So, uh, if you want to follow, be my guest. If not, see you at the job board and I'm gonna jog out and see if I can follow him. All right. Um, at this point, I would point... like to follow the animals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yep. Uh, for the sake of the chase, uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative. Hey. Oh boy. All right. So, um, just a reminder uh, how you do this. Um, how I find it easiest is if you click on your token, uh, and then uh, press Shift and double click on your character, it'll bring up your character sheet, and then if you click it, it'll automatically add you to the turn order. Uh, so, uh, right now I'm gonna add... So... Click on the character click, sheet? No, uh, I um, what, I what I would do is I would click on your token. It'll only automatically add you to the character sheet if you have your, your token uh, selected. Okay. Uh, and then you uh, roll your initiative. Shift, double click? Yeah, uh, it'll bring up your character sheet immediately if you shift and double click on your token. Okay. On the game board. Yeah. There it goes. Come I on. I have this open on two different computers so that I can on. monitor the stream. I'm just and look at the map without. My character sheet is being screwy. No problem. Happens. Oh, here it is. Okay, so and I click what again for initiative? The initiative. The initiative. Okay. Yeah, literally just that. <laughs> Alright. I was a little confused because I already had my character sheet open. Alright. Alright, uh, <clears throat> Mans here is going to roll for initiative. There we go. We're just going to represent him by some random ass token. Alright, um, I am going to move you guys here in a second. Um this will take but a second. It'll be easier since I don't have to add chase. Okay. 
There we go. Alright. Um, moving you guys over here. There we go. Alright, so making sure everybody's in the right initiative. Everybody except for Korik at the moment. There we go. Alright. So, um, at the top of the round, uh, as you guys exit the tavern, uh, Turner, uh, you see this um, um, man that uh, is your quarry has just run around the corner. What would you like to do? I'm just going to follow him. Okay. Uh, so just movement speed all the way, uh, uh, all the way uh, to him? Yeah, which one is him? Uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, it should be the only one that's visible to you. Do you see other ones? Yeah, I see one right. more to the left. The bottom left, yeah. Oh, okay. Here, I'm going to fix that. There we go. Uh, he okay. <laughs> yep, uh, went to the uh, ethereal plane. Uh, up next, uh, assuming you're not doing anything else on your turn. No, I'm just confused and like looking back like, is this what's happening? Running with your uh, little uh, bird claws uh, slapping against the ground. Click, 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 click. <laughs> uh, Ilian, your turn. Look at my brother and go, and you thought this was going to be boring. And immediately take off after Turner. All right. Um, are you are you just are you just running to pursue, or are you, are are you gonna like run up to uh, run up to uh, this person and do anything, or uh, no? What's your plan? I'm gonna stay back behind, cause okay, I know we're chasing him. But this is really but, yeah. Byron's show. <laughs> and even if I caught him, I don't actually know why we're chasing him. Okay. Uh, Korik. I Before I go, I gotta ask. Everyone mm -hmm. else does see the full turn order, right? No, I only have what? him. Yeah, I only see him. Yeah, I only see our pursuant or whatever. All right, just making sure. As long as we're aware. Sure uh, we only, only see the, the guy we're chasing. Things turn order. Wait, that that's the only person you you guys see in yeah. the turn order? Yeah. If I remember right, I, loading it fixes it. So like just. I know exactly what this problem is. Um, we're gonna. I think it's because you guys aren't in each other's journals. Here we go. There we go. I don't know if this will fix anything, but... Well, but... as long as we know the turn order for now, it's fine. We don't necessarily need to re uh, revert to it. Yeah. Um... Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, Cork, it is your turn. Are you, uh, I'm assuming you're just following suit with the rest of them. Yeah, and I'm staying decidedly behind Ilian. Cool. Uh, and that means that it is... Byron's turn. All right. I'm going to you know, give chase as well, but just kind of shout out, Hey, wait! I just want to talk! Uh, okay, so, uh, as you run towards him, go ahead and make a persuasion check. Oh, boy. Uh, with disadvantage. Oh, oh sorry, I right. probably should have said that before. Sorry, yeah. just, just, just roll again. You don't have to add the disadvantage. Right. But... Okay, so 11. Uh, so with that, uh, you oh. are running up closer to him, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm running my, the, my movement speed to get closer to him, giving chase. Okay, so, like, right there? Yeah. You're not gonna try and grapple him or anything. I mean, am I within? Uh, yeah, you you can easily run within uh, uh, five feet of each square, much like okay. a normal D&D map is five feet. So. All right, I I'm just gonna kind of like, I'm like not gonna tackle him. Just kind of like try to grab his shoulder or like grab his wrist. Like, hey, dude, just wait. Okay. Uh, then go ahead and roll uh and. For a grapple check, I believe that would be, uh, 
I think it's just your choice of athletics or acrobatics. Well, wait, is he grappling or is the other person trying to grapple him? Yeah, he's trying to grapple him. He has to use athletics and the other person is athletics or acrobatics, their choice. All right, so, uh, yeah, just uh, go ahead and... Uh, athletics? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, we're going to... But yeah, no, I'm not like tackling. I'm just trying to like, you know, grab his shoulder or like grab his wrist or arm. Yeah. And with... Uh, uh, you try and grab his arm, but he immediately flicks you away and uh, continues running. It's going to be his turn, and he is going to dash. All right, so... It's going to run right about there. And that's the end of his turn. So up next will be Turner. Uh, okay. How many? I'm just gonna quickly like boop Byron and cast guidance on him. Oh. All right. Uh. So yeah, uh, just go ahead and uh. Uh, mark that down on your uh, character sheet that you uh, expended the spell slot. Well, it's a cantrip, so I won't. You're right. 10-4. I forgot. <laughs> and uh, then I'll just keep chasing after him? Okay. Yeah. You know, kind of, uh, I guess, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, you heard me shout, uh, just want to talk. Yeah, I'll just keep... I'll just, I'll just keep running after him. Where did I go? Wait, uh, you went down you, to the bottom. You went all the way down to the bottom. Why did um, I go to the bottom? Is guidance a bonus action? I don't believe so. Uh, then you would uh, only have 30 feet. Yeah. Because right okay. now it looks like you just moved 60. Where did I go? There you go. I put you back where you were. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you good your sir. Char your character just somehow teleported to the bot. It just did it again. I don't know what's happening. Are you using a computer yeah. or are you using a tablet? Guidance right is now? an action. Yeah, guidance is an action. I'm only moving thirty. Uh, are you trying to move? Are you trying to move in that direction though? Yes, I'm trying to move thirty feet straight after him. Straight after him. Yes. To okay. Run straight along the road. So you're going this way, not this yes. Way. No. Because okay, your token kept moving this way. I know. Every time I touch it, it just keeps teleporting, so I just stop touching it. Are, are you on a tablet, or are you on... I computer? have to be on a tablet. My computer is at a different house right now. Ah, uh, that's fine. 10-4. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. There we go. 30 feet. Thank you. No problemo. Hey, Joey, can you share your screen for a second? Yep. Give me one... I, 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 want, I want to see what your screen looks like real quick. Uh, which one? Uh, the <laughs> one showing the game. I want to see what your roll twenty looks like right now. Okay. It is in the Discord. All right. Nobody talk for like thirty seconds. Okay. The turn order isn't there. Can you um, get the turn order like in the center of the screen? I'm pretty sure I turned it off because it didn't work. There it is. Okay, so right now you can only see... That's weird. You guys should be able to see yourselves in the turn order. Yes. Hmm. I don't remember what the fix for it was. Uh, I'll ask my friend Keegan later. Um, but right now, you guys can just rely on the fact that I know when your guys' turns are. <laughs> Alright. You don't have to show me anymore if you don't want. Um, so, yeah. Uh... Ilian, it will be your turn. Yep. Um, turning that all off. Uh, oh, and also... by the way, By uh, Byron, as uh, Turner's uh, hand touched you, uh, you felt this uh, uh, relieving sense of warmth uh, uh, come over you uh, as uh, you were blessed with some uh, radiant magic. Ugh. Oh, interesting. Well, that's but, probably all I got out of my mouth before the turns yeah. keep going. 
Yeah, and uh, so Ilian, the turn will have moved to you. All right. I'm going to catch up to him because I can. <laughs> <laughs> because monks. <laughs> No, I, I, yep. saw, I just and saw the, I... the icon just zip across the screen. <laughs> yeah. I could have set up the path to move it. But realistically, that's probably what your character saw anyway. Is yeah. To just go from lightly jogging to actually running. <laughs> uh, another thing you guys can do, if, uh, if you haven't figured that out already, is you can uh, use the arrow keys to move your token one at a time except for ethan who currently uh so are you just running up to him yeah for okay. now uh Cork, up to you a couple things mm -hmm. one joey how in the heck did you shut off that turn order Don't there's an on x the word turn order oh for me there's an x yeah, I don't have that. Okay. No, do I? Anyway, moving on. Oh, it does. It does sort of do that. That's cool. Yep, it kind of fades it away and lets you get it out of the way. Is there something I missed? No. All right. Anyway, uh, also, I noticed you were doing a thing with that arrow that showed you how far you were moving. Mm-hmm. That's the ruler. How, how does one do that? Uh, what was that? Click the, on the ruler, ruler tool. The icon looks like a circle with the okay. ruler sticking Thank through you. it. Thank you much. Let's see, how mm -hmm. far can I... And I believe it's if you hold that shift, far. you can leave points so that you can actually show the direction your character moves. I think it's... Shift. Precisely. Like, I, oop, I probably need to enable a tool first. There we go. Doing that, and then you can press shift, and then keep it moving this way. Oh, nope. That did not work the way I wanted it to. Maybe it's control. Okay. I, it is able. I never use the tool, so I literally only ever use the thing to look up spell distances. Anyway. Oh, yeah. It's shift right click. There we go. Now I can make yeah. shapes and stuff. And if your token is selected when you do that, it will follow that path. Oh, will it? Yes. Wow, that's something I didn't know, and I have like 300 hours sunk into Roll20. Anyway. Or um, maybe you can select your token and do the same thing. Move it to a point, do the click, and then... It'll but, uh, yeah. Um, Cork, are you, is, that, is that all you're doing? You're just moving your speed? That's all I'm doing, yep. Okay. And Byron, back up to you. I'm going to use this ruler thing. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm going to use this. Snap to center. There we go. I know. I'm just trying to figure out how far is 30 feet. Uh, okay. So, or... I'm about to say... Uh, yeah. Can't you move thirty-five? I have no. 30. That, I was about to say that that thirty-five would be what else? Coric. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, Coric is forty-five. Well, yeah, but that's just because you're a monk. I'm meant for just racial bonus. Oh, for racial race supplies, yeah. All right. How do I deactivate the ruler? Uh, you just Go click back, back on your arrow. arrow. Okay, so hold on. Thirty feet. Yeah, I'm gonna move my distance, which was just one in front of there and then double check okay uh i'm gonna kind of call out sorry about this and i'm gonna cast charm person uh okay uh i guess it'd be first level at this point charm so person. they do you want do i click the chat thing uh yeah, if if you want to show what the spell does. Yeah. Uh confirm uh must make a wisdom save. Got gotcha, 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 gotcha. Wisdom save. And are we actually fighting it? 
Um, I mean, you can definitely attack this person. Well, if no, you I'm, want, saying, I'm but... saying is it classified as fighting at the moment? No. Okay, then fighting it... strictly means like attacking it. Then they just roll. Uh, it rolled a nine. I don't think that succeeds. It does not. So, um, now they're gonna be or not see us as. I guess I don't know whatever he sees us as. It's gonna see us as uh friendly acquaintance. Yeah, friendly acquaintance. Alright. And that that was my turn, because I moved and did the thing. Okay. Uh so at the beginning of its turn, after the charm has taken effect, um you roll the uh D fudge, which is a negative. Sorry about one. that, Al. Just no, no problem. I, I I experiment with whatever the hell that means as well. But um, as soon as the spell takes effect, uh, you see that this man uh, uh, trips over his own feet and falls uh, flat on the ground. And you hear him go, Ugh! and then stands back uh, and like pushes and gets himself up and just sort of dusts himself off and uh, turns around and just uh, looks dead at Alien. He's like, what are you looking at? Apparently a crazy person. Okay, whatever that means. And he's going to uh, move right past you and uh, uh, begin walking back towards the tavern as if nothing happened. Alright. Uh, as he uh, really uh, begins facing you guys, he gives you guys a wave. I don't know. Am I am I able to talk to him? Out of turn? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we okay. Uh, we we can consider ourselves out of combat at this okay. point because he's not running. Okay. Then I'm gonna kind of walk up to him and wave like, "Oh hey man." Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I was gonna say, "Hey man, um, do you remember me from last night?" Uh yes, yes, I think I do. Uh. Uh, sorry about roughing you up, by the way. Uh, all the shouldn't have happened, dude. I was drunk. I'm sure you can understand. Yeah, no, we... Things happen. I I get that. Hey, I was just wondering. Um, I woke up with a nasty headache, and I can't actually recall everything that happened last night. Do you... Could you, like, kind of re recollect to me what happened uh, after the fight or once it broke out? Uh, go ahead and make a persuasion check with advantage. All right. Also with a D4. And a D4 because you are blessed. Okay, how do I add Not blessed. Uh, uh, just, just, just roll, roll it after? It. Yeah, so I have an advantage? Just, yeah. Advantage persuasion? Yes. Plus a D4. And then... And then just uh, type in slash roll 1D4. A space between roll and 1D4. 1D4. Okay, so 15 total. Yeah. Maximum use of that guidance. Uh, he's like, Yay. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, I, I understand waking up in a drunken stupor and all that. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, if my memory serves me correctly... Ooh, it's quite cold out here. Anyway, um, last night uh, we were playing a game of cards, and uh, um, one of my friends uh, uh, caught you um, trying to sneak your hand, so uh, a fight broke out. Um, uh, my one of my bigger friends uh, smashed a uh, smashed a tankard upside your head. You went down, and we decided that we were going to do something with you. Uh, so we took you out to the underwoods. It was a whole thing. Uh, we were going to um, rough you up, leave you for dead, feed you to the wolves. When suddenly uh, your eyes started changing colors and stuff, and then uh, bada bing, bada boom, I'm on the ground. My friend has a hole through his chest, and the other two are uh, slashed to shit. Oh, that's that is crazy. Yeah, and then I then I ran back to my uh, ran back to my bedroom and uh, uh, cried and wept for a few hours and then went to bed. Hey. Anyway, how was your morning? You know, it was. It's been interesting. Um, I woke up in the woods and I tried to recall what happened until I found you here, and you've just made my entire day. Like, thank you for clearing that up. Now, um. Yeah, it's really cold out here. I must say, in a bit, you might feel a little weird. I did see you took a stumble, so, you know, 
you know, you might feel that in a bit, but thank you again for the, uh, for the information. Hey, you look cold. You should probably head back inside. Yeah, I'm going to do that now. And then he walks back to the tavern, uh, with, uh, with haste. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, zoom, zoom, zooms, and now he's gone. Yeah, he's gonna, he's not going to be too happy in about an hour. Yeah. So how about that job, huh? Uh, huh? Can you explain any of that? Um... <laughs> Eric just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, how about we talk while we walk? Uh, yeah. One of, the, still... one of the one of the town guards walks up to you and says, "Uh." I saw that. Uh, yeah, you folks are right. Oh yeah. Um, it's just a little bit of a misunderstanding. We talked it out. It's fine. No one got hurt. All right. Uh, keep your eyes. Uh, keep your noses out of trouble. You got it. And goes back to his post. Uh, so I, I take it we can see the uh, the castle from. Oh yeah, um, it's it's easily yeah. noticeable. Um, this, uh, colossal tower, uh, towards the, uh, back of the city, um, heavily, uh, guarded, um, the entrance to it is, um, blocked by wrought iron gates and, uh, heavily patrolled by guards, uh, and right before it is, uh, the barracks and, um, uh, Byron, at least, having been in the city the longest, uh, has seen this, uh, job board, uh, you have a vague memory of seeing it before. Mm -hmm. So you have a general idea where it is. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So. Um, For clarity's sake, although that walking did happen, I am back. I don't mm -hmm. know if I, I don't know which way to go. Right. <laughs> I recommend we go back and get our coats. It's cold. That's a plan that I like. Good idea. Would I would I be wearing a cloak of some kind, or am I literally in what is shown in my picture? Um, because I have been get, here. If you ever get cold, you sort of just wrap yourself up in your cloak. You don't uh, currently own a winter jacket. So yeah, ab about about what you're wearing in your uh, character art. Yeah. Okay. He said, "No, oh, do you two have rooms in the tavern? Or where are your coats? We're staying at the tavern, aren't we, Parker? Uh, yeah. I didn't make you guys pay for it, but I uh, assumed you guys were staying at the tavern, yes? Yeah. Okay. That, alright. Yeah. I'll... You guys can get your coats. Let me think on what I uh, need to explain. <clears throat> Wait. Is this one the tavern, or is it this one over here? Doesn't matter. Um, uh, uh, that one has a more tavern-like layout, so we'll go with that one. Then I enter. Okay. Uh, you go back into the tavern and uh, find your coats, no problem. Uh, 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 the bartender O'Rourke looks to you and says, yeah, "You guys really spooked that guy, and then he just walked back in here, chipper as ever." Um, what happened? No idea. You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. That's I don't want to know. Question, tell me, sir. Tell me. Tell me. Just... I do want to know, but I have no idea. Excellent. Uh, anything I can do for you? Um... Not at the moment. All right. And then he goes back to tending to the rest of them. You guys grab your coats. Uh, anything else you guys want to do in here, or are you guys just heading back out? At this point, I if I'm not carrying weapons, I'm definitely grabbing that because beat up guy is really sketchy. Right. Okay. Um. While I'm sitting out there, I'm gonna turn to Turner and just go. <laughs> you use magic too, right? Yes. Where does your power come from? You see him get a really happy face and immediately start pulling out a book. So like, you... I learned from Wreck. From Wreck? Is that a 
book or is that uh, Byron, go ahead and make a religion check. Okay. Religion. <laughs> oh, I still had advantage on my bad. Uh, either way, the rules were terrible. Yeah. So, um, you've heard the name before, but uh, you don't remember where. So, you get it from a person, a god, then? A god, then? Okay. Okay. Cool. Alright. Alright. Maybe you can help me sometime. I'm... Help you sometime? To... Yes, I'm new to magic, still. So I'm still learning. Where does your magic come from? Um... I'll, uh, I'll explain when the others get back. It's easier to say it all at once. Sound good? Okay. I'm going to and... interject real quick. Mm -hmm. Parker, do you know why I'm carrying stag's antlers? Um, we talked about it. Uh, part of your equipment was uh, a trophy of an animal you've killed. And oh, you said you wanted stag right. antlers. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. Can be used as an improvised weapon if you try hard enough. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I, I won't be trying hard enough. Thanks. By Byron's just kind of leaning against the wall, just thinking. Like, it's obvious on his face that he's thinking. Right. Yeah. Uh, getting a, a few odd glances from locals as they pass you. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, uh, at this point, I'm just waiting for the others. Uh, yeah, they, they come back to you in no time. Alright. Uh, you guys got your things? Yep. Alright. Yep. I do Stands. owe you an explanation. Um, well, I am relatively new to magic still, and with that, I, uh, you know... Don't fully understand it, so sometimes it gets a little out of hand, and I guess last night was one of those cases. Yeah. Um, and to answer Turner's question, the powers, specifically, uh, they uh, come from the sword. And I just kind of gesture to my sword, not drawing it. Just uh, gesturing it. As you uh, look towards... Uh... Uh, look towards this blade. It looks to be, uh, while finely crafted, an unassuming uh, longsword. Yeah. Can I see? If you're all okay with me drawing my sword? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna... Gently unsheathe it and just kind of open palm in front of me for Turner to look. Sure. Once I have it, I would like to cast Identify on the sword. Alright, are you burning a spell slot or are you... I have to burn a spell slot. You can't cast it with... That's a wizard thing. Right, 10-4. Uh, yeah, uh, as you do so. Um... <laughs> I'm getting the specifics on it real quick, just making sure I don't just kind of muck muck it up. As I'm as I, I just said, I don't know a whole lot about it. Like I said, I'm new, but uh, yeah, I am still learning. Do I believe okay. anything he just said? Um, go ahead and roll an insight check. I believe it all. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's a natural You sure one. as hell do. You My, sure as hell do. Up to a four. My passive insight's really high. Would I get anything just from that? To do a deception roll against that? Uh, deception uh, or I mean, persuasion if you're not lying. It's like, uh, I'm not saying everything. Um... Then yeah, you can go ahead and roll deception. Because it's like, 
it it's more half truths and make sure you have uh, your advantage disadvantage. Time yeah, on. it's it's unnormal. So okay, that'd be cool. deception. Uh, sh if you're not if you're not giving the full truth, then either yeah. way, it's it's the same modifier. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn. All right. Yeah, I'm. So I guess, what does like, the tell me? Basically, you can tell that I'm that I'm withholding withholding information. But what information I am giving you has been truthful. You, but you can definitely tell I know more than I'm letting on. That's, I mean, unless you want me to explain in detail what I'm saying. But I'll leave that up to Parker. Um, what, with uh, uh, what he's told you so far, Korik, um, uh, nothing he said has a appeared to be a lie but uh you can tell that uh the way that he goes to start a sentence and the uh uh with the phrasing you look like he's withholding some things that might be important to connect the dots between uh certain things but uh he's intentionally holding back information i'm not sure you noticed i took another step back after i noticed that cool he seems pretty sketchy Okay, so um, Turner, with your identify spell. Uh, yes. Um, nothing about the magic seems uh, about the weapon seems inherently magical. Hmm. Okay, I turn around and hand it back to him. Thank you. I'm just gonna put it right back in the sheath. Nothing fancy, just put it back in. I'm gonna make a good effort kind of reading the room to keep my hands visible as best I can. So, are we off to the... Is that a good enough answer? For now? Seems good to me. Alright. Off to the job board then? Sounds good. All right, then. And I'll just start walking my way to the job board. All right. Wherever that may be. Fall in. Uh, so so uh, as you all um, walk your way down the street, uh, making your way uh, towards uh, the uh, guard barracks where the where this supposed job board is uh, said to um, be, uh, the uh, sky is becoming more and more overcast and it starts to uh, rain as you uh, make it towards the shop board um, as you get there you see that it is standing right outside of this uh, uh, large two story stone building uh, where uh, multiple guards are posted outside uh, and there is a, a wooden sign posted above the door uh, that says legacy office uh denoting that this is the location where the um head of the town guard stays uh and then you obviously you see the uh the job board uh which uh is just uh a uh cork board propped up by uh two uh wooden beams uh posted into uh into some dirt uh with many um uh pieces of paper uh, ta uh, tacked onto it. All of it appears to be in uh, similar handwriting. Uh, as we walk, and, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, go ahead. Go ahead. As I say, as we walk, I indicate to Ilian, hey, this is a free shower. Might want to take this opportunity to get that tomato out of your hair. Oh, good point. Uh, you, you begin br brushing all the uh, goop and stuff, uh, and, uh, uh, washing it off your horns and whatnot. Um, there uh, are currently um, uh, five uh, postings on this job board. Which one looks the most fun? Uh, depending on your definition of fun, um, most of them uh, have uh, emboldened letters at the top uh, to give you the gist of uh, what the message uh, is. Um, one of them uh, is a help wanted uh, about a missing ceremonial weapon. 
Um, another one is an advertisement uh, for the joining of a guild. Uh, another one uh, clearly says uh, uh, adventurers uh, needed uh, clearing out a family crypt. Uh, one of them uh, just simply says uh, in the crudest of handwriting out of all of them, uh, wolf problems. And uh, one of them uh, has a bit of uh, art deco at the top of it. Uh, it says ingredient gathering for uh, eye of newt uh, potion shop. Uh, and uh, uh, logo for uh, the local uh, apothecary is um, scribed across the top. And those are the five uh, job postings you see. Do they have uh, monetary values marked on them? Like how much they're worth? Um, a few of them do. Uh, the only ones that don't really specify are uh, the one to join uh, the local uh, guild, which uh, you have never heard of uh, prior. Uh, not even me? Uh, especially not you. Okay, very well. Um, and the ingredient gathering for the uh, I Have New Potion Shop uh, has uh, monetary rewards uh, um, based on which ingredients you find. Uh here, I'm going to show these all to you guys real quick. Ooh, um, great. Fancy. Show to players. Show to players. Show to players. Show to players. And show to players. So you guys should all uh, be seeing all of these pop up. Um, feel free to glance about them at your leisure. Where would they be? Mm, guess again. Guess again? They're not in the journal. They're not in the compendium. Okay, so they're not just they're showing. Not okay. Screen. And that feature did not work the way I wanted it to. It's fine. Uh, I'll just do this. Layer. There we go. There we go. Um, I have to use the restroom real quick, so... Uh, yeah, go ahead. You yeah. Go ahead and do that. I'll be back. Well, do we want to just take a short break and everybody go to the bathroom? Uh, and yeah, their legs? and then you guys can uh, read the job postings when you get back. I'm just going to pause recording then. Or did you no. just go to break? No. no. We're back recording. Okay, cool. Uh, well... Uh, just adding something for myself. In case... I, I love doing things uh, for a game and then never using it because you guys decided to go a different direction. It is my favorite. Because then I'm like, oh, I can use it somewhere else. And and this time I am doing it unsarcastically. Yeah, not going to lie. I did not pick that up. It's fine. I thought that was made out of pure sarcasm. <laughs> like the unrefined shit. Uh, okay, we're going to make sure that token stuff is all correct. Okay, everything there looks good. Awesome. So now, when we drag Mr. Man out, there we go. Interesting. 
It should do it automatically, but roll 20 is a dickhead, so. Awesome. We got that now in case we need it. Okay, so uh, where we last left off, you guys were all in front of the notice board uh, looking at all of the quests available to you. Um, and yeah, if you guys look under the handouts folder in the um, journal, uh, you will see that all of the uh, quests are now available to you to look at. None of mine will open. None of yours will open? Is that the problem with anybody else? No, I have no, them all open. Try. Mine's opening. I was going to say, I got the chance to read them. But I just went to try and click through them again. And they're all locked. No idea why. Uh, maybe refresh hmm. roll 20, or maybe you already have them open. I don't have Those are the only thoughts I have. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Be... And if it becomes a problem, are... I can just read them out to you guys. Only two of them are of interest to Ilian anyway. Okay, cool. And like I said, I read them. So I'm just going to give people a chance to actually read them before I start discussing things. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna lean over to Ilian and say, Hey, this ingredient gathering one seems pretty easy. <laughs> Almost like printing money. Do people print money? Okay, listen. Fine. Almost like, uh... Oh shit, what's the word? Minting. Minting money. Making coins. The making of coinage. And things of the like. Huh. Yes, if we're Carter, all looking at the... your simplified terms. Carter no. Parker, I meant. Did you call me Carter? You look very similar to a guy I work with named Carter. Okay, that makes sense. I also have a younger sibling named Carter, so it, uh, I, it really, like, the amount of people who refer to me as Carter by accident is kind of hilarious. Huh. Okay, I've never met your, your sibling, so it has nothing to do with them. Yeah, it was, it was just funny. Uh, I'm, I don't know. They all look all right, except for the Brotherhood one. Honestly, it doesn't, eh, doesn't yeah, look that, that good. That makes it seem like we want to stay around here. I don't want to stay around here. Yeah, no, it's too bloody cold. I don't like being cold. It's uncomfortable it's cold, here. And it's gray, and there's lots of other places to go see. Probably with better Exactly. Food. Also, your hair is purple, not red. And they don't. you don't need free dyeing from all the other people who want to throw tomatoes at you. Pretty sure I'm going to get that everywhere. But you're not wrong. I'm sure there's somewhere you'll be fine. There are plenty of places around the world. One of them's bound to at least be nice to other people. Hopefully. Hopefully. That'd be nice. So, what jobs are you two looking at? Because I'm down for just about any of them. I know you, Is Alien, it... said you wanted to find something that was fun. What classifies as fun for you? I don't want to go explore a crypt or go look for ceremonial things because both of them sound way more interesting than everything else. But I do agree with Cora. Oh, the here I was saying you want to fight really a giant easy. wolf spider. Fighting I can deal with, but I, what's, I don't think I actually know what the rest of the things on that list are. I know what a mushroom is, but Ed, it. 
I don't know what that word is. Ikor? Ankeg? Uh, I, I have no clue where to even start looking for that. Would I have ever read about any of those things? Uh, which ones in particular? Uh, and what an Ankeg is, Quipper, Gillyweed. Uh, go ahead and just roll a general um, nature check. Nature... All right, with a 14, um, uh, you know that quippers are tiny piranha-like fish. Uh, they travel in packs and have been known to um, eviscerate careless swimmers. Uh, mm -hmm. They have a, uh, millions of sharp teeth. Um, you know that an onkeg is a creature found in deep wilderness. Uh, um, you don't remember exactly, you know, their, their chitinous and have uh, uh, poisonous blood. Uh, and Gillyweed, uh, you've read somewhere, but right now your memory's sort of failing you. You have a lot of information stored up in your little bird noggin, so some things just fall out. Okay. But I know where to find piranhas. Uh, pretty much in any, uh, uh, deep body of water. Okay. So I'll go. Uh, this is all you found. Oh, sorry about that. Go ahead. Oh no, it's fine. Go ahead. All right. Seeing as this is all to just be found through foraging, is this something that Ilian and I would have any? Um, any kind of, uh, let me. I hate to say the word advantage because that's not that's imply more than I want it to imply. But wait, wait, what word were you looking for? I want to say the word advantage, but that's going to imply more than I mean. Yeah, every time you try and say that word, it cuts out. I don't know what word you're trying advantage. to say. Advantage. Oh, um. That's why he doesn't want to use it, because it actually has a mechanical term in the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the hair of a giant wolf spider, uh, quipper scales, gillyweed. Uh, you know that gillyweed can probably be found, um, Growing at the uh, banks of a uh, of a body of water, uh, and red cap mushrooms uh, grow uh, around the base of uh, really old uh, trees. Those are just things that you have observed in your travels and in nature. All right. Okay, so then I'll go. A uh, quipper, a uh, small, bitey fish, a uh, uh, river, a uh, onkeg, lot, it's a forest, uh, and I don't really have words to say to finish that, because I don't know them. Cool. I'm just imagining every time a clump of words comes out, they're almost always in a different voice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's sort of like Bumblebee in the Transformers movie. <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. I, I know what a wolf spider looks like, and I know if one is giant, but and I know what a mushroom looks like, but other than that, this really isn't my area. But if you want to lead the way on finding these things, I'll follow. I don't know where two of them are, lad. Not gonna help us much. So... The crypts, then? Adventure? Crypt, it sounds like. In the crypt? I bet if adventuring does sound fun. I could I could go to a crypt. Change of pace. Um, Just casually? Yeah, I, I, I could go to a uh, person's uh, family's burial ground. Sure, I mean, it'd be fun. It did say there is a pretty decent reward. If they said it's a family of goblins, it's uh, probably going to be a lot of goblin ears at the ready. Yeah. I guess if... Are we all agreeing on the crypt? Agreeing on the crypt? Agreeing on the crypt. Yes, from the cute little bird. Yep. All right. Take. Okay. I'll take. I'll take the. 
the paper off the board and just go, all right. So we're looking for, uh, looking for House Aramore. So we have to head to the Icewind Heights uh, for a banner with emblem of a broken sword outside it. Now, where's the Icewind Heights? <laughs> uh, so being uh, in the city for as long as you have, you know that Icewind Heights is the name of the uh, district of the city where most of the wealthy live. Uh, it's just uh, uh, a few blocks of uh, uh, fine housing and uh, manors uh, and uh, a few towers for uh, some of the wealthier locals and nobles. Um, uh, you know that uh, uh, in the layout of the city, if uh, the uh, castle uh, is in the center, uh, the barracks are on uh, its left side facing the tower uh, and the um, uh, ice wind heights are on the right side of the tower. So basically uh, just a, a, a short jaunt uh, across uh, a few blocks uh, what direction would it be? Uh, uh, southwest from where you guys currently are. Uh, and uh, you can easily uh, lead them in that direction, but finding House Aaron Moore is a, an, an entirely uh, different beast. So I know, uh, I know where the area is, but I guess we'll all have to be looking out for the symbol of a broken sword outside a manor. How hard could that I, be? I don't know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it stands out, unlike everything else in this city. That's it's, it's, it's just so gray and ice, isn't it? Uh, pretty it's much. Gonna, it, pretty it's much. It's gonna be gray and ice. Yeah. All right. I'm lucky. That's an investigation check to find it then. Slightly different gray. Uh, Hopefully. Uh, yeah, if, if if you guys are uh, aiding him, I'm gonna say um, Byron can go ahead and make uh, make the check at advantage. Investigation or perception? Investigation. I... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Um, so uh, you think to yourself, I I think I've seen that banner before. And so you begin uh, walking towards the location where you uh, think you uh, found it. Um, alas, it is not. It's not even close. And so after about a good 45 minutes of finding it, uh, you are uh, very close to just giving up on finding this location altogether before um, uh, Turner, with your high, uh, high as hell passive perception, uh, you notice in the corner of your eye ar around the block uh, a uh, the uh, flying banner of... Uh, a flag uh, torn to torn to hell, but you do recognize the emblem of a broken shield or a broken sword, rather. Manor. Look, manor. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Pretty oh, sure. looky there. Oh, Turner found it. Thank you, Turner. Ugh. Yeah, and I. All right, I then. just smile and turn my head. All right. Well, uh, to the manor. Anyway, uh, as you uh, walk up to this manor, uh, you see that this uh, supposed house, Aaron Moore, uh, is uh, a rather old building. Uh, the uh, framework uh, looks to be. Uh, much more uh, weathered and cracked than uh, a lot of the buildings surrounding it. Uh, uh, the uh, roof has several um, uh, shingles that are uh, have been uh, worn uh, from w uh, weather. And by the way, uh, it is it is still uh, slightly drizzling outside. Um, which one of you uh, took the that did one of you guys pull off the um, pull off the notice off the board? I did. Okay, uh, just make sure you uh, keep track of that. Uh, maybe yeah. put it in your inventory or something. Um, uh, but yeah, you see uh, uh, above the uh, really elegant uh, uh, door frame uh, made out of a really fine uh, oak wood, uh, the an etching of uh, the name Aaron Moore uh, right above the door that has a golden knocker uh, right at the center of it.
Even the rich around here live in shitholes. Considering this one got attacked by goblins, I think we could cut him a little bit of slack. Uh, all right. I'll. Is there like a gate, or is it just the the door that we see? Uh, there is a gate, but it seems to be slightly ajar. Just an iron gate uh, surrounding the estate. I'll just kind of op- like I'll just kind of use my hand to open the gate, but not step in just yet, just to make sure. Uh, yeah, you open it, and um, the uh, gate itself seems to be a bit rusted. Um, um, much like the rest of this house, this uh, gate has seen some uh, seen some years. Uh, so uh, it just uh, swings open and uh, clatters uh, uh, slightly, uh, making a bunch of uh, metal metallic tang noises uh, as it uh, swings open and then uh, slams into the bars. Uh, okay. Now well, just kind of look back to make sure everyone's still following me, and I'm going to walk up to the door. Uh, is everybody uh, still following him? Or uh... yep, yep. Cool. Cool. Behind Dillion, yeah. Uh, alrighty. So uh, you make your way um, <clears throat> up uh, up the stairs uh, with um, uh, the railing having uh, uh, many uh, uh, opportunities for splinters. Um, you make your way up to the door uh, on the porch uh, or uh, pe- uh, patio. Uh, the uh, door before you, uh, knocker available to be you know, knocked. Mm-hmm. Uh, guess I'll take the note out in my offhand just mm-hmm. to make sure I have it with me, and then I'll hit the knocker. Uh, just, you know, boom, boom, boom. Right. Uh, after about uh, 10 seconds, uh, the door uh, uh, creaks open, and you see before you uh, uh, an elderly uh, human uh, woman uh, with a uh, um, uh, sh- really short, curly gray hair, and appears to be wearing uh, some uh, fine attire uh, with an apron uh, uh, slung over uh, her chest that appears to be uh, just covered in dirt. Uh, her eyes are uh, uh, really narrow, almost to the point of being closed. Uh, and she looks at you and says, Yes, how, how may I help you? Uh, I'll pull out the note. There was a job notice on the board. Uh, came to inquire about it. Uh, she um, uh, pulls uh, some spectacles that are hanging around a uh, uh, hang around a chain on her neck and just uh, puts them up so she can read. Uh, it, it, take, it takes her a minute, but uh, she uh, reads the message and nods to you and she says, uh, "Yes, uh, I'll, I'll uh, fetch uh, Master Aaron Moore for you at once." Great. Uh, turns back and uh, sh- uh, shuts the door, uh, and then after about uh, a minute. Um, the door opens again, and there before you, you see uh, uh, a rather uh, tall man uh, uh, clad in plate mail. Um, he has uh, um, what was once blonde, but is now starting to gray, uh, finely kept uh, facial hair and uh, uh, wavy um, hair going uh, down to his shoulders. Uh, this man just looks noble. He carries... Uh, what appeared to be a uh, long sword and a shield on him uh, with the uh, crest uh, that you saw on the flag outside uh, pinned to his chest. He says, Ah, yes. Um, I see you have uh, read my notice. Yep. Uh, We're of service. Well, uh, it's about time. I've posted that weeks ago and nobody's gotten to me. Uh, I am Master uh, Thelonious Aranmore. Uh, uh, roughly a month ago at this point, uh, my, uh, uh, my family's crypt, uh, outside of the city was sacked by these dastardly little bastard goblin creatures. And, uh, though very capable in, uh, in the way of the sword, I, I can't take them out on my own and require aid. Well, you all look, you all look uh, fairly capable. Um, is there a... I just smile way, and wave. Uh, any way you can uh, uh, prove your uh, metal to myself? Well, I... I straight up deck him. No. <laughs> Do you actually? 
<laughs> this is very important to you, actually. Okay. Not on the face, like on the metal, on on his plate armor, just so that he can feel that I'm actually I'm 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 tough. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Just go ahead and. Uh. Rolled a uh, rolled a hit with a non arm strike. Sixteen. Uh, um, you see that uh, uh, seeing an opportunity to uh, show yourself, uh, you give a swing towards uh, uh, his uh, plate mail, but um, his eyes go wide and immediately catch your fist right before it punches you and just uh, sort of uh, throws it out of the way. Oh, that's not what I meant. Uh, I uh, meant me I... uh, a professional duel or something. Oh, you can't scare me like I'm, that. I'm, I just kind of turn and look at him wide eyes like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I don't say that, but that's like the obvious expression I have. <laughs> uh, it's just... fine. It's fine. I, 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 I suppose I asked for that. Um, he is just straight up sorry. laughing and going, he, he got your punch. <laughs> he's he's sort of uh is waving his hand um uh clearly stopping that blow um uh hurt uh his wrist a little bit he says that was quite the punch though um uh okay um i suppose i have no way of gauging your talents unless we test it out so uh how about we discuss terms um this is obviously a uh rather dangerous mission I am asking you to embark on. Uh, but, uh, should we be successful, uh, not only will I be in your debt, but I can assure you the rewards will be amazing. Um, I believe that the uh, that the um, Legate is offering uh uh, monetary rewards for uh, goblin ears, and I myself will pay uh, your uh, party as a whole uh, one gold per set of uh, goblin ear. Uh, and assuming that those bastard goblins haven't taken them away, uh, there is a, a weapon that used to belong to my uh, great grandfather within the crypt, which I will be uh, willing to bestow upon uh, a lucky one of you. That's very generous. Um, might we come inside? It is really just oh yes, kind of, dreary of course. Uh, my my apologies. I haven't had guests in quite a while. Uh, he opens the uh, door for you to enter. All uh, right, I'm gonna go and just kind of kick the shoes, shake off a bit, and step inside. Oh yes, sure. Make yourself at home, I suppose. Uh, um, getting the water off. I don't know what I'm about. Uh, he uh, looks over to the elderly woman that greeted you. He says, uh, "Lydia, uh, uh, fetch us something to drink, please." And she says, "Yeah, yes, Master Headmore." And bows and uh, goes off to get some uh, gets uh, some drink, whatever it may be. He says, uh, "Have a seat." Um, you guys are greeted uh, in this um, foyer. Uh, this is a nice looking place. While it has uh, a look like it hasn't been lived in for. Uh, a few decades um it is a nice place uh there's a uh, fine uh staircase leading up to the second floor uh and a nice sitting room uh, uh with um uh comfortable looking sofas uh albeit covered in uh, a thin layer of dust uh and a uh freshly burning uh fireplace cozy Yes, uh... Cozy. Um, yes, about that. Um, ha have the seat, gents. Um, uh, ladies and gents, my apologies. Um... Uh, we can, uh, do a little bit of an interview, shall we say. Um... Um, uh, as I'm sure, uh, you're familiar, uh, uh, are you guys taking uh, seats, or uh, how are you guys I've, doing this? I've taken a seat. If you gestured to one, I've taken a seat. Okay. Yeah, after he gestured to let us sit, I would have sat. Okay. Is there anybody who's not, I guess, is a better question. I would take the closest seat to the fire, and if there isn't an option, the floor with my back to the fire, where it's warm. Okay. Um, with as many... Uh, 
Oh, yeah, There's just four of you. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I'd say Alien would probably be sitting on the floor next to the fire. Uh, 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 he sits down in uh, uh, the chair uh, opposite the uh, sofa, and he says, uh, as I'm sure you may know, um, the family Aaron Moore has been uh, uh, proud residents of uh, this part of Valen Rain for generations. Me, myself, I'm a native to Briarcrest uh, City, uh, um, uh, a few days travel north. Uh, but um, some of uh, the oldest generations of my family are buried in a crypt uh, a few hours uh, into the into the Underwoods. And I routinely make a round trip to uh, check up on this place and check my crypts and pay my respects. However, last time I arrived here, uh, I was greeted by a uh, pack of goblins and chased away. I barely made it out of my life. And then he um, uh, pulls off one of his pauldrons and um, uh, lowers the um, chain shirt he has underneath, showing a uh, nice, uh, sizable scar uh, across his um, shoulder blade. Uh, one of them slashed me with their rusty butter knives for swords and um, uh, pulls it uh, back over, hiding his wound. It was a disgrace that I couldn't take them out myself, but there were just too many of them for one man to take on his own. So uh, I put in that... I put in that... Uh, bounty to the legate in hopes that uh, an adventuring group such as yourself would would aid me. Uh, but anyway, um, enough about me. Uh, uh, you fine folks uh, who have come to my aid, uh, uh, who might you be? I make the page turning thing sound again and go, I turn it. Right. I'll speak in. Turner here has shown that he, I'm gonna make sure, um, is ha, is a magic user. So they can they can hold up for themselves. Well, it's in the way of magic, I see. Um, yes. I myself, I'm Byron. I just have recently traveled here to Frost Earth looking for work such as this. Trying to Broaden my horizons a little bit, going town to town. Earning an honest living. Trying my best. Cork, this is my sister, Ilian. Uh, uh sister? No further detail. Uh, was it sister you said? Yep. It was. Um, okay, um, I guess no further inquiry is needed. Um... And, uh, where are you two from, then? I come Temple. Okay, I have, uh, uh, vaguely heard of that place. Uh, it's, um, pretty far up north, uh, towards the Dark Marshes, yes? Yes, it is. Right, so you've, uh, journeyed quite far to get here. You've, I suppose you've seen a lot of the wilderness. Uh, and, uh, uh, you, uh, Turner, was it? Was it. Right, um, those, uh, those robes, uh, would you happen to be from, uh, uh, not from, uh, this country? Not from this country. Alrighty then, um, okay. Uh, so, you've seen a lot of trouble as well, uh, a custom to the wilderness and all that. Um, uh, good with uh, swords, the lot of you? I kind of slightly gesture to the one on my back. I am. All right. Uh, you two don't appear to have... Uh... Well, no. I am uh, I am you carry weapons, do you? Joey, you cut out. What did you say? I said I was carrying my weapons. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, and and, then, uh, so you I have the two yes. short swords? Okay. Um, uh, when I uh, was talking about testing you, um, kind sir, uh, uh, Korik, I, if I remember correctly, 
Um, the first thing you did was throw a punch at me. Am I to assume safely that that's how you uh, go about all of your fights? You are. Okay. Um, has that proven effective? Quite. All right. Uh, I just want to make sure. I don't want to be liable if any of you are maimed, injured, or killed in this uh, in this quest. Are you, sure, are you sure you don't want any weaponry of any sorts? What was that now? Uh, are you sure you don't want me to supply you with any weapons of sorts? I can, I can get you something if you need. I own them. I just don't use them. Okay, uh, I suppose I'll uh, have to trust you on that. Um, and then at, at this point, uh, the um, uh, elderly woman comes back in with a, a tray of what appears to be coffee um, uh, that's uh, steaming rather comfortably. I will most definitely take part in the coffee. Same. Uh, let me know if you need any sugars, dear. And then uh, just sort of... Um, uh, walks off a bit. Uh, that that there is a uh, uh, Lydia. She is our uh, the housekeeper of House Aranmore. Uh, she upkeeps the place when no one's around. Uh, I just have a coffee. It's very good. Oh yes, yes. Uh, we uh, we treat our guests well, especially if they're willing to help us. So, um, if, unless we have other matters to discuss, uh, shall we be on our way? Suppose we shall. I have no other business here other than this, so I'm free to travel. All right. Well, let's be off. Uh, he uh, stands up, um, uh, slings his uh, uh, shield over his uh, shoulder, uh, and um, uh, checks his uh, uh, blade. Uh, that he uh, uh, has in his sheath. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, finish your coffees, uh, and uh, we can be on our way. Right. And, and uh, all of you um, uh, finish about your drinking. Uh, sip, sip, sip. Is that enough for a short rest or no? Um, you just yeah, 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 why not? Yeah! <laughs> I suppose it's been like uh, a decent uh, amount of time uh, where you guys haven't have been doing light activity. So if uh, you want to consider this a short rest, you can. Shall. I was like, wait, why do you want that? And I'm like, oh, spells, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a warlock. Warlock things. Yeah, <laughs> just warlock things. Okay. So, uh, led by this uh, noble knight, uh, Lothias uh, Aranmore. Uh, he leads you out of the manor uh, uh, towards the gates of the city. Uh, and uh, before he steps out, he says, uh, before we go, is there uh, anything we need? Uh, I have uh, uh, these as a failsafe. He um, um, uh, reaches into his pack and pulls out uh, two vials full of red liquid. Uh, I think we are equipped with what we need, but it is good to know that they're there for if the situation turns dire. Yes, I would only like to use them if it's necessary. Uh, anyway, let's continue. And um, leads you uh, out the main doors of the city. Uh, the guards nod uh, uh, nod to you uh, passively as you uh, walk through the gates and begin your trek. Uh, out of curiosity, did we walk mm -hmm. back through the market past the guy who threw the tomato at me? Uh, yeah, the uh, market district is on uh, is uh, uh, past the um, uh, gates towards the city and on the other side of town. So no, you did not. Okay. Okay. I was um, just at him again. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, exiting the city, uh, you immediately. Uh, 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 be your left uh, towards the um, 
towards the uh, vast wilderness ahead of you. Uh, following a uh, the main road, the paved path that leads directly through uh, the wilderness, uh, you guys begin travel. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, hmm. Let's see here. Can we... So, what direction are we traveling in? Uh, if you left out of the northwest exit, uh, you guys are currently heading south. Okay. Uh, south uh, directly into the Underwoods. Okay. Um, so, uh, because I don't have uh, a map exactly ready for this, what is your guys' marching order going to be? You guys can show me through the uh, current map that you guys have on. I, well, I, f I feel like Aaron Moore is obviously going to be taking the head, but after yeah. that, um, I guess if no one else is going to, I can be right behind Aaron Moore. Let's see, unless we have to be in a straight line, I'm right, be I'm right next to him because yeah. I'm excited to go. Wait, so where would Aaron Moore be in this oh, lineup? Are, are we are um, we single file or are we like Yeah room for two? Uh let's assume that uh just just for just for the sake of uh establishing this and we'll figure it out once we need to pull up a map. Uh that uh uh this right here is Aaron Moore. Where is that? Uh the token that should have just appeared on the screen. I see. Okay. If if that's Aaron Moore and yeah. you guys are heading if you guys are heading this okay. way. Um, Honestly, I'd be fine just staying where I am. Can I say are we single file? Uh ju just for the sake of establishing the order, <laughs> yes. Uh, but um Ilian, did you, you guys want to be up front? You... I am excited. Okay. Right, right in the front. Kind of skip walking behind him. Okay. Um, as you guys are are uh, walking uh, about uh, five minutes away from entering the uh, uh, really dense wilderness, uh, this uh, night before you just begins regaling you of uh, tales uh, from his uh, family's lineage, uh, some of which you pay attention to, some of which is all just really dull. Um, hold on. Uh, he uh, tells you tales of his uh, uh, great-grandfather um, slaying massive beasts uh, and his... Uh, um, uh, great 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 grandmother being one of the uh, uh, first uh, archmages for the High King uh, and uh, stories of that like so while he's talking about shit I do not care about I'm looking at flowers and seeing if I recognize them uh, you can go ahead and make a nature check it doesn't really matter it's not important yeah but it uh, just for fun. Well, let's see what you roll. Okay. There's my character. Fourteen. Um. Uh, as you're uh, walking through, like absent-mindedly, not paying attention to his story, uh, you do uh, notice that growing at the uh, foot of w uh, one of the trees that you pass is uh, a few uh, red-capped mushrooms. I grab those. All right. Uh, as you uh, begin walking towards the tree, um, uh, Lothias hears you and turns around and he says, um, uh, what are you doing? Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. I don't believe I've ever had that. All right, how many mushrooms do I get? Uh, three. As a side note, aren't red cap mushrooms like really toxic? 
Probably in real life. Because <laughs> <laughs> how much does awesome each mushroom weigh? Really, like lethal to eat. Um, you can just put down zero. They they weigh virtually nothing. Okay. And while this guy's telling a story, can I just like mentally fact check everything he says? Um, uh, based on your readings, everything he says seems to hold up pretty legit. Nice. I enjoy his stories. Awesome. <laughs> Were you, were you uh, prepared to, like, uh, um, actually him? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I I was probably just listening for key names, and that's about it. Uh, Which was not that you happen to recognize. Yeah. I'm just taking mental note of all the diff of just general lore of Aramore. Right. About it. Aaron Moore. How, how, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Aaron Moore. Aaron Moore, okay. If I may, just as a side note, is, uh, that guy's species of bird supposed to be a rook, but humanoid? Uh, a raven. I I'm assuming you're talking about Ethan. Yeah, the one whose name is Zach. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's supposed to be a raven. Okay. More. Uh, so is there anything that, in particular that you guys do um, on your trek uh, or anything uh, specific that you guys uh, bring up uh, as you're walking any specific conversation uh, I'm busy listening to all this guy's stories yeah. Uh, all right. I'll probably like. I'll like kind of listen in, but mostly I'm just paying attention to the surroundings. Uh, okay. Uh, by paying attention to the surroundings, are you like uh, trying to keep an eye out or something? Yeah, I'm just keeping a passive eye out on like the trees and road. Uh, okay, if passive. There's any, if there's any like you know animals in the trees or anything lurking behind us. In the bushes. Just kind of, just kind of the suspicious, walking in an area I don't know. <laughs> Keep my eye out. That's fair. Alrighty. Uh, so, entering the wilderness, uh, you don't seem to um, notice anything in particular uh, that uh, immediately catches your eye. Um. But. Uh, after about uh, 15 minutes of uh, walking uh, into the wilderness, uh, you see that um, that Aaron Moore uh, has uh, stopped and uh, says, Do any of you hear anything? Do we hear anything? Uh, you can go ahead and... Uh, you can go ahead and roll, um, what's it called? Perception? Yeah, perception if you wish. <laughs> Turner hears it. I think Turner heard it. <laughs> I think Turner heard it. <laughs> yeah, definitely maybe. <laughs> definitely maybe. It's definitely a possibility. I'm, I'm stalling because I haven't looked at it yet because I'm tinkering with something. Because... I'm probably just kind of like the, the sleeping on the feet just snapped out of it. Like, huh, what, what? Okay, then for the record, yes, red cap, uh, red cap yeah, mushrooms are too. very poisonous. That's why they're red. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're red. This time I thought it was because they were the dye agent used in healing potions. Shame. Okay, what the hell? Uh, sorry, it's just uh, the HP for Aaron Moore's stat block just got all fucked up because technology. Nice. Nah, not really. No. 
don't worry, we, we got this shit. Um, so I'm assuming Turner rolled really high, and that's what everybody's talking about. Yeah. Yes. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay. Uh, so uh, as uh, you listen with your um, uh, very keen hearing, uh, Turner, uh, you hear what appears to be the uh, 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 the uh, rapid crunching of many creatures' footsteps. Can I replicate that sound to the group? Uh, easily. Wonderful. And start pointing in the direction I hear it. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, armed with that sound that, uh, you just heard. Uh, well, what would you all like to do? Uh, and we know what direction Turn is pointing in. Uh, uh, yes. He, uh, you uh, can easily just, uh, look and, uh, tell what direction he's pointing. I'm gonna, like, take a few steps back to spread out a little bit from the group and draw my sword. Okay. Just kind of get ready to see whatever's about to jump out. Also drawing a sword. Taking a defensive posture. I'm going to pull out a crossbow. Crossbow. Uh... How far away is, like, the bushes that these noises are supposedly coming from. Um, because if I stepped kind of back, uh, you guys have reached uh, uh, this uh, area of uh, uh, sparse uh, uh, trees, uh, and so um, uh, the bushes are uh, a bit far off. Uh, you'd say a good sixty feet. Oh, give or take. Far. Uh, 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 and uh, as you guys, uh, oh, yeah, I'm ready for range. Uh, as you guys are pre- as you guys are preparing for uh, the worst, um, uh, you hear what appears to be the growling of what you assume to be wolves. Oh, those must be the wolves the job board mentioned about. That's a fair bet. Yeah. No, honestly, say, yeah. yeah. Um, once again, stand by, working on things. There we go. We'll find it. Um... Uh, uh, as you guys are uh, um, preparing to attack, uh, you see uh, what appear to be uh, uh, three uh, wolves um, uh, uh, jump out from from the bushes, uh, looking at you guys with uh, a hungry look in their eyes. Uh, Eldritch Blast! Uh, all right. Uh, uh, go ahead and uh, roll to hit with that, and then after that, it's going to be initiative. Ooh, yay! An actual legitimate fight. Where the hell is the thing? Uh, seventeen total. Seventeen total. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit. But uh... pretty much whatever one jumped out first. Yeah. Um, uh, the one closest to you is definitely going to take a hit, uh, but, uh, go ahead and roll for damage. There we go. Nine Uh, force damage. Nine force damage. Pew. Um, with 
that, uh, your uh, uh, your blast goes uh, streaking towards the creature, hitting it right in the chest. It makes a uh, whelping sound as uh, your uh, arcane blast uh, uh, coming from your sword uh, comes uh, splashing into its side. Um, let's see here. All right, at this point, we are going to be rolling initiative. Murder time. And I will bring up the map in just a second. But yeah, for... I don't know. To explain how I did it, basically, he had defensive stance with sword in one hand and just kind of lunged with it, and it just came up the tip of the sword. Like... <laughs> Right. Zap. This is some solid initiative rolling right now. Oh yeah, I'm I'm liking it. Uh, not not for my bad guys, but uh, for you the map. guys, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. W once we change the map, you guys will have a good idea. Uh, and we will do that. Just right about what your number is now. In case he has to add them manually. Because you should be able to click on the number and type it in. Right. So, if it blanks it us out again, just add each one of us to the ma manually to the turn order, and we can type in our numbers. Yeah. Completely forgot about that last time. Um, right. All right, so uh, taking you guys over to the map, here we go. So uh, this is the one that absolutely got Molly Wobbed. How many damage did you deal again? Nine? Yeah. All right. Uh, so as uh, you, uh, you blast that creature, mm, it did a thing. Oh, gosh dang it. We are going to fix said thing. And... Uh, so, um, after that, uh, blast that you launched at it uh it leaves a wound uh similar to the uh one that uh you saw um on the um uh corpse that you saw previously this morning makes sense i, I right. just kind of think to myself <laughs> okay so uh oh yeah i still need to roll initiative for these guys shit also you should uh, probably add us I to am... the turn order because it deleted us. You guys, you guys are in the turn order. I don't know why it's not showing you guys in the turn order. That is very odd. It was a turn also order of 17.11. Yeah. Um, because I uh, added his initiative bonus, that means he goes before somebody else who shares the same initiative. There we go. Now everybody should be on the initiative order. Is it nope, just order? see uh plus four. Just see wolves and our NPC. I see singular wolf. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm I'm just having all the wolves act on the same initiative. So that's what I'm doing there. But all of you guys should be on the uh, turn order. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Uh This is very odd indeed. Whatever. I, I, I know uh, what turn you guys are in the turn order. So um, at the beginning of combat, uh, Turner, uh, it's your turn first. 
Neat. What's the range of a... Cr I'm gonna shoot, because the range of a light cross was pretty far, right? Uh, you should be able to look on your character sheet. Um, the range of your crossbow, uh, is at, uh, 80 over 320. Okay. Uh, and you just, uh, critical hit with that one. Nice. Uh, which oh. one are you shooting at? Probably the same one that, uh, was just hit by an Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and roll damage for that. Neat. Why, why is it not really? There we go. All right, uh, that'll do it. Uh, so as this wolf uh, uh, tries to ignore the pain of the uh, dark uh, magical blast that was just um, unleashed upon it, uh, you uh, snipe it uh, right through the forehead, um, causing it to collapse dead. Uh, so we're going to mark that one as... No. We're going to mark that one as dead. Excellent. So, uh, are you going to do anything else on your turn, or is that it? No, nah, that's good. All right, make sure to mark down one of your bolts. I will do that. All right. Uh, Byron, your turn. Uh, I think Korik goes before Oh, yeah. You. Yeah. We you may are. have had the same number, but Korik has a higher dex mod. Yeah. Yeah. So, Korik, it would be your turn, then. All right, running up the wall. Yeah, Kian, you're muted. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay, I'm going to kick the shit out of the wolf that's adjacent to me right now. All right, cool. Do so. Roll ahead. And I'm using a key point to uh, Flurry of Blows this bitch. All right. Oh. Well, hold on. Oh, did you use, like, uh, your action to dash? No, I just ran. He has um, uh, unarmed movement as a monk, so he just okay. has faster movement speed. All right, that I'll... first one does not hit. All I'll right, that's what I figured. Oh, never mind. Uh, and I bet that one does. Yes. I'm comfortable assuming it. Okay. With eight points of damage, uh, you uh, sock this... Uh, uh, well, I guess you don't. You said you wanted to kick it. You give it a nice uh, kick towards the jaw, and you hear a nice crack as you do so. Uh, anything else on your turn, or is that it? He he gets an extra attack. Does he? Yeah, oh, he's yeah. Fury of Blows. Yeah, because you uh, well, hit once with your main action, and then you get uh, two more attacks with Flurry of Blows. Oh, yeah. shit, I get another attack? Jesus, yep. okay. Yeah, because like, you, you do it once, and, and an after 20. Oh, and that, that hits. <laughs> Bye, Wolf. <laughs> All right. Uh, as it falls, as it falls to the ground, uh, you uh, run over to it and just stomp on its face, ending its life. Uh, it is also Dunzo. See the wolf, uh, like Dunzo, back to our fella, the guy leading us to his uh, family. That work for you. Uh, he, his eyes wide just nods a little bit. Uh, Byron, your turn. Flipping the blade over to the hilt. This time, instead of just reaction, it's just focusing and aiming for another Eldritch Blast. At the one still left. Okay. Okay. I feel like that hits. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Six points of damage. All right. Uh, so there we go. And if I have to, I'll. Uh, you what now? Um, trying to make sure I have line of sight, so I'll. Oh, you do. I'll. I was gonna say I was gonna move like here to get line of sight on that one in the back. Oh, no. You, you were fine where you were. Okay. Well, you know, I moved here anyway. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, um, uh, your blast goes uh, streaking through the air, uh, splashing into the side of this creature. Uh, uh, similar effect to what I had on the last one, but this one uh, uh, is definitely telling that it's fighting a losing battle and looks like it's about to retreat. 
Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Nope, that'll be it. Um, uh, Lothias' turn, uh, he is just dumbstruck. Uh, and is going to spend the rest of his turn just sitting there slack job looking at how efficient you guys are as fighters. Ilian, your turn. So that one looks like it's about to cut and run. Uh, yeah, it, d it definitely looks like it's about to cut its losses and just zoom, zoom away. Um, checking the range on something real quick. Okay. I'm going to move up to about here. And I'm going to cast Minor Illusion. Mm hmm Right there. I want the sound of an explosion. Okay, just the sound? Yep. Just a just a big old boom. Uh alright. Uh, easy done. Uh all of you hear what sounds to be like uh the uh uh cracking of a um of a decent sized explosion, uh, right, uh, especially you, Cork, it rings in your uh, open ears quite loudly. Uh, but yeah, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, that's it. All right. Uh, you see the wolf just sort of uh, um, cowers and shrieks at this. Um, being its turn, it's going to see uh, its uh, uh, what its current situation is and is going to uh, back away slowly, uh, uh, limping with its uh, front paw uh, being uh, nearly destroyed by uh, uh, Byron's Eldritch Blast. Uh, and with that, uh, Turner, it's your turn. You say it's walking away? Uh, it's trying to. All right, I'm not going to do anything. I'll just sit next to... Um... Uh, what's the guy's name? Lothias. Yeah, I'll sit, I'll sit next to Lothias and uh, Byron. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, Cork, your turn. I'm gonna let it walk away. Okay, is anybody not gonna let it walk away? Uh, upon seeing the general disposition, I'm just gonna let it go. Uh, Lothias looks around to you guys. Uh, are we just going to let that thing go? It just uh, him and his friends just tried eating us. But they didn't. I mean, it was smart enough to know it was a losing battle. Uh, and as you're saying yeah. that, uh, the uh, wolf uh, ducks away and runs into the wilderness. All right. Neat. Uh, so with that, uh, he looks to you guys and says, That was probably the most efficient I've seen creatures die in, like, all of my years. You're welcome. Thank you? Uh, Thank you? I don't think we're going to have any problems at this, at this crypt. Like, this, this is going to be easy. Uh, with a wide smile across his face, uh, general sense of satisfaction, he uh, um, continues down the path, uh, leading you guys uh, towards the crypt. Before we leave, can I get that bolt back I shot? Uh, oh. Yeah. I was going to say, do we want to pick up the pelts for that job or just leave them, get them on the way back? Because there was, there was a bolt. I'd probably say pick up the pelts. I don't know if we'll pass by here on our way back. We might just miss it. Or it might get ravaged by some other dead uh, thing looking for food. True. And uh, though the icons may not note this, these wolves were gray wolves. Would be, what, one gold piece a thing? Was that it? Or is it five silver a thing? Uh, the note said, uh, well, uh, they're in your journal if you want to look at yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. One gold them. piece per gray wolf pelt. One, yeah, one per gray. Uh, just saying, the one that I took out alone, I will be taking the whole gold piece for that, thanks. <laughs> Fine. 
if you guys want to take it, you can take it. Um, yeah. All right, I'll mark that on my character sheet so I don't forget that I'm carrying it. Um, uh, if you're going to uh, skin it, um, I would like you to go ahead and make a survival check. All right, that is A-OK -okay by me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you skin it, and you skin it efficiently and quickly. Like, it's almost unfathomable how easily you remove the skin off of this creature. How much One does the pelt uh, The pelt, uh, good uh, two pounds. I don't know how much pelts are supposed to weigh. Uh, two, three pounds, yeah. That sounds about right-ish. It seemed, it seemed reasonable. Yeah, cool. If I ever have a lapse in judgment, you guys will, I'm sure, uh, be ready to correct me. <laughs> About one and a half pounds. Even okay, better. But, but, yeah, one one point five. Um, so is that what the only one that's being skinned right now? What is listed at like five different places? I'm still hanging out. Still hanging out by Lathias. Okay, so nobody's skinning the other wolf is what I'm hearing. I uh, guess you'd be correct. Yeah, yeah, no. Excellent. So, um, uh, you begin your uh, uh, trek back on uh, the path uh, towards the uh, towards the Aaron Moore family crypt. Uh, you are eventually taken down uh, a a less worn path by uh, the knight Aaron Moore. Uh, and after about a good uh, another uh, half an hour of travel, uh, you eventually find uh, find yourself at the uh, uh, at the foot of a massive uh, stone temple uh, that appears to be overgrown with all sorts of foliage. Uh, and uh, the place just reeks of ancientness and decay. Uh, he looks to all of you and says, Well, uh, uh, this is it. Um, I suppose we better go in, yes? Yes. Well, well uh... Yep, everyone's got their things ready. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's do this. And then as you uh, turn around, you see... Um, what appears to be five goblins swarm you. Oh. Fantastic. And with that, uh, I think we're going to uh, end the session there. Uh, <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds we'll, good. We'll, we'll pick up uh, the next session with you guys at the foot of uh, the Aaron Moore family crypt, uh, being surrounded by goblins. Before we go, I got to ask, mm -hmm. what, kind of, what kind of walking was this? Was this like real brisk pace like we gotta make it to camp before we die kind of pace or is this like a more leisurely i say you guys are walking at a uh not a slow pace more like a normal pace okay so i can't remember how long you said it took but would the would that qualify as a short rest then um probably not all right not in that uh, time span no all right, fair enough. Yeah, typically walking and hiking don't really count. Even though I only asked, I only asked while we were in the city because we load. went inside and yeah, yeah, we're everything. yeah, we're resting. Yeah, yeah, I figured. But if we're not carrying a whole lot and it's not going real fast, you know, it's yeah, just that's why I was asking. All right. Um. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and figure out how to solve this turn order situation. Honestly, I think if we just roll initiative after you change map, yeah. probably yeah. won't be an issue, because uh, the issue arises when you change the map. Okay, uh, well, let's try it right now. Uh, everybody, uh, go ahead and re-roll your initiatives and see what happens. Well, 
But no, uh, wait, what? No valid token was selected. Oh, there we go. I think you have to click, click your token before you roll. You do. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I thought I said something. Maybe I didn't. Mm. Uh, so can you guys can you guys see each other's names on the turn order? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. At least okay, you can. Icons. Awesome. So uh, let's see if I rolled for Mr. Lothias here. Uh, can you guys see his on there now? I'm going to yeah. get rid of that thing that uh, factors in his uh, uh, add dex tiebreaker to initiative. And then re-roll that to be less irritating. Oh, there yes. we go. Oh, yes. oh, yeah, way better. Okay, yeah. so I think the problem was just me changing the maps. That probably could have been it. All right, cool. So we got that figured out. All right. Well, I hope you guys had fun. Sure did. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, we'll uh, pick up next weekend. Hopefully Chase will be able uh, to join us then.